Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Backlog Chronicles. We're a podcast that challenges fanboy beliefs and takes a pragmatic approach to all things gaming. Uh, we strive to create a community for self-thinking fellow gamers, a community where logical conversation can take place and a drive to further one's knowledge can be sparked. Take a seat. Show's about to begin. Thank you for being with us. It just hits you. Good day, people. I love it, man. What's up, baby? What's up, guys? What's up, How everyone? You, How are you, Let's baby? Go. Let's go. Let's go. Episode 50. TBC. We got uh our brothers back with us. What's up, boys? What up? Going? What's going on, buddy? Joe, man, you just came off of a near five hour marathon man i can't yeah. tell you how much i appreciate you being here bro of course. i swear to god if, if you would have told me because when i heard it was five hours earlier if you would have told me that hey man look i just came off of five hours i swear on my children i would not have held it against you so <laughs> i really appreciate you being here bro i swear to god like this really means a lot man you know so of course thanks for coming my, as as the kids say, my word is my bond. You know what I mean. <laughs> so here I am. I say if I say I'm gonna be here, I want to be here. If I say like I'm very punctual, like I oh, yeah. if, if I say yes, it's like are. I'm coming here at eight, I'm coming here at eight. If I get a DM, I'm trying to answer it as fast as I can. Mm -hmm. It gives me anxiety. So I'm happy to be <laughs> here though, dude. When when you asked it. me to come out, I was like, hell yes, absolutely. I need to think. I'm like, I I'm may have plans. Have eh, whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Happy man. to have you on, man. Andy Dash, thanks for joining us as well. Yeah, man, I'm happy to be here, man. It's a good week of news, and uh, we've been, yeah, we've been talking about this for a little bit, so oh, yeah. to talk about it, man. And this time, you don't sound like you're talking through a toilet. You got a proper <laughs> setup. And you've been it. upgraded, oh, Dash. Man. You have yeah, been upgraded. Man. You guys oh, are yeah. way too nice to me, man. You guys are cold mess <laughs> and like pure garbage. I can even hear myself when I was checking the replay, man. <laughs> How you guys let me go out like that? <laughs> That's great, dude. Oh, man. Well, yeah, man. Thanks, uh, everybody, for being with us. Uh, this is episode 50 of TBC Memorial Day weekend. Um, so, uh, Mike, uh, it's me and Mike this week. The OGs. My man, Mike. Baby. Yeah. Uh, Kevin and uh, Jordan are both on... Uh, vacation and uh you know family and stuff so this week honestly we weren't about to do it uh, i was telling dash um i told him uh, earlier in the week i'm like hey man i was like we might end up just skipping this week and then news started rolling in rolling in and i'm like i can't fucking skip this week <laughs> I, I have to talk about it this is yeah, crazy I, I can't do it <laughs> you know, so, oh yeah man oh yeah there was no way so i'm glad at least uh we showed up and um uh, yeah, uh, so uh, let me see. We're also going to be giving away a uh, Xbox, a digital Xbox copy of Biomutant uh, today for uh, a lucky audience member. Uh, mm -hmm. So this was uh, also this was uh, provided by the generosity of uh, Fork Boy uh, from, Fork, uh, from coming through. Fork, yeah, from GBTB. Yeah, man, he gave us the code last week too for for Mass Effect. Fork is a fucking great guy, man. So. Uh, you know, follow him, follow GBTV, and uh, yeah, they're good people. He's he's an excellent guy in the community. So uh, appreciate you, Fork. Uh, somebody's gonna be uh, somebody's gonna appreciate it too. So, all right, um, got a lot to go through, but before that, let's go through the whole usual stuff first. Joe, my man, yeah, good yeah. to see you here. <laughs> good to see you here, man. So yeah. how's you? How was your? How was your week? How was oh your day? Yeah. <laughs> oh, really Man, this week's been crazy, <laughs> absolutely crazy. Yeah. Uh, like it's like everybody's been saying it. It's on the money. It's like a mini E three. Like it's just been news thing after news thing after mm -hmm. news thing, and then Sonic. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> and that's it's it's been pretty good, man. It, it's been really. It's been really awesome. So I'm, I can't wait to talk to you all about all this stuff, especially Far Cry, if I'm honest. Yes, sir. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Okay, Joe. I see oh, you know yeah. I'm gonna love Horizon. I you know I'm gonna see. Yeah. yeah. Know, okay. Okay. I, I got you. Know. I see what you're saying. Uh, I know. I know, man. I know. But yeah, dude. So that's good. Well, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you're here. Dash, how was your week, man? I I think this week already <sighs> beat last year's Summer Game Fest. I swear it already beat it in terms of news, man. It's, why? It's... Did, why does? Why? Why does my boy Keely get trashed so much, man? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I mean, what was the highlight of Summer Game Fest last year? Like Tony Hawk? Really? I I know. I know. (laughs) Yeah, I was about to say uh, Tony Hawk, I think. (laughs) (laughs) I was, yeah, man. I was was glued to the news this week, especially because I knew we were going to be talking about it. So, yeah, I'm Mm -hmm. glad we're doing it. And, um, yeah, man, a lot of, it's been a lot of uh, absorbing the news. Haven't been playing as much this week, but uh, it's been a good week. Nice, man. That's good. Mike, week was good, homie. Oh, hell to the yeah. This week, I mean, even just like, okay, so I mean, let's be real, like most of my life revolves around video games anyway. So, uh, (laughs) so it's like, so whenever you ask me, what have you been doing? That is what I've been doing. Not only playing, but just like getting into this new stuff. Like to me, this is exactly what I love to talk about. Like, I like industry stuff. I like, uh, other shit like the only topic that i am like eh, whatever about like i don't really care for is like a crossplay topic mm-hmm. but like every other time i mean i'm just like yo this is what it used to feel like kind of you know when the world was normal and shit mm-hmm. like too bad movies aren't doing this but yeah this week has been really good really good for me mo how about good, you bro man. i'm good man i'm good dude you know i'm just glad i have tomorrow off you know what's weird too is I oh, woke really up. nice. Look, man, I, every every Sunday I wake up and I get in this like I, I wake up with this sour mood, you know, because I know that I have a shitty week coming up. Just I'm sure like a lot of people do. And um yeah, I just woke up, I remember, and then I was like, wait a second, I'm closed tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I can stay oh, up late awesome. again tonight. Yes. That's awesome, bro. <laughs> like my mood just flipped, man. You know, I, my wife was like, Are you okay? I'm like, Yeah, I'm good. I'm chilling. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. shit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh shit, dude. Yeah, man. So it's been it's been good. It's been a good show. It's been a good week. But um before we dive in, uh let me ask you boys about what you've been playing. Cause uh mm. mine is a very, very short list. Um start with you joe what have you been playing man so i got real upset at my co-host kyle because he was Uh able to get the platinum in returnal now as you Mm -hmm. know i love returnal it's it's up there for my game of the year Mm -hmm. so far and uh i got the last trophy i needed i scanned all the things i looked at all the sigils i did all what i needed to do and Mm -hmm. the last trophy didn't pop like it was like it was it was like, I don't know. It was like you, you climaxed, right? This is yeah. the feeling I had. Sure. Climax, sure. and then under, like, and then like the condom broke type of feeling. <laughs> type of feeling like, oh no! I did. It didn't pop. Like the trophy didn't pop. And I was like, oh, what? And I'm like, of course, uh, of course, <laughs> this buggy ass game that I love so much would do me like this. And here really? I am. Really? Are and you so, serious? Yeah, so I was just like, you know what? I'll go buy like a two dollar like shitty game, whatever, platinum it in five minutes. Make yourself be just <laughs> make, make yourself feel better. Like, uh, exactly. Be like, this is the platinum that should have been. But then Kyle got it, and I'm like, go okay. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm like, Kyle got it. I'm like, I can't, I can't let my co-host outdo me like this. So literally, like. Two days ago, I was like, I'm going to restart this game from scratch. No, you didn't. And I'm going to just beat the game again. You fucking beat I'm going to get to logical. the level I needed to get to. You Collect beast? all the sigils and be done. And that's Did what you? I've done. Yeah. So you got the platinum. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I haven't collected all the things yet. I'm at the oh, last Oh, I see. My okay. apologies. My apologies. Okay, okay, so okay. I'm at the last level. I have like like almost half of the sigils or whatever the, the hell they call them. Mm-hmm. And so I should be done with this game maybe by Memorial Day. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Who knows? Mm-hmm. But yeah, Memorial Amen. Day. I'm just gonna sit back and if if that trophy doesn't pop again, <laughs> I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> Strongly just, fa- just factory reset your PlayStation. <laughs> yeah. So I was gonna I was gonna ask, did you? So you went back in and it still didn't yeah. pop after all the patches and everything, nope. right? Nope. Because House Mark's like. Hey, yeah, if if the trophies didn't pop, you're kind of shit out of luck. You yes. got to do it again. That actually happened to Ains on his first yeah. run. He, yeah. Uh, yeah, when he first played the game, um, 
there were some trophies he didn't get, and uh, yeah. he was a little bit sour about. Like he doesn't have the completion trophy. He yeah. finished the game, but he didn't. He did, he didn't get the completion trophy. He's like, I ain't going back and doing that shit again. So. <laughs> absolutely, yeah, absolutely, yeah. So, I. And the game's lucky that I have shit to do. Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm just waiting on Ratchet at this point. I yeah. don't want to go do Mass Effect just yet. I want to actually save that for after Ratchet. Because um, I don't want to marathon. Like, that game I spent, in the first game, I think, 36 hours on. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'll wait for Mass Effect 2. Or sorry, I'll wait for Ratchet before I go to 2. So, yeah, that's that's kind of that's my game plan for this week is to finish up this goddamn Returnal game. Uh-oh. That uh, I, still, I still love, you know? Yeah. No, that's good, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I can't even get past the second boss, and you're about to do a sec- another run of the game, so... My Returnal, you, Returnal sounds like a bigger obstacle than just a tough game. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's just like, yeah, <laughs> and, and, and a yeah. lot of fa- facets of itself. Yeah, like, screw it. Oh, I'll man. play it again. Man, you got, I'll, yeah. I'll run through it again. Yeah, you got the yeah. game difficulty. You got the emotional like connection where you're just like, it's hard, but I don't want to play it. And then you got the That's trouble crazy, problem, dude. which sucks. But... And, and like, I, I said to Kyle, I'm like, I think they made this fucking game harder. I think they made this game harder when, when I left. Did. They did. did. Especially when they started... <laughs> After, like, I think it was the first major patch or whatever, I remember I had gone a few days. Remember when uh, there was a patch that was, like, uh, making people that where people were losing their progress? Yeah. So at the time, I'm like, because I was already in the second biome at that time. I'm like, no, fuck that. I am not touching this game until they say that that has been fixed. So I went back in after that. And then I remember starting, and you see enemies by the ship. I'm like, yo, (laughs) what is this? I heard about that. (laughs) Sometimes the game will mess with you like that. Those small enemies there, sometimes they'll, like... Here's all the things right in front of you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, again, I still love that game. And to me, now that I have some time separated from it, mm-hmm. right now it's either this or Hitman 3. As, as nice, man. My game of the year so far. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice, man. That's I still awesome, need to go dude. back to Resident Evil. So, so mm-hmm. wow, couple, dude, couple, like, couple, racked up, huh? So a couple of things they did make Returnal harder. Like they, they patched uh, where you can't heal at the ship uh, more than once, yes. right? And then yeah. uh, now that you heal, it it, it, it uh, heals like a shorter uh, or less health than than it used to. So they are they are making it harder. But here's the thing: like I beat it. I haven't gone for the platinum run or anything like that. But I went mm-hmm. through biomes one through three pretty quickly after I beat it. Like you do get good. Like it's 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 been a while since I played it, and yeah. and I still gotta do the uh, act three. But I'm kind of afraid to go back, man. I'm like rusty right now. I don't. I just don't want to get my ass handed to me. To, at this I point, know, it's absolutely. like, okay, I got to, like, like once I feel like you beat boss three, you kind of know where you're in for. Mm-hmm. Biome f- f- five? Five. Really is a son of a bitch. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. I hate, actively hate Biome mm-hmm. five. Mm-hmm. Um, it will humble just, you. Yeah. It's just like, you've learned jack shit, <laughs> you idiot. What are you thinking? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will absolutely humble you. But, again, I'm still having fun. Like I've still beaten all them bosses. The third boss was actually harder this time around too. So, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah well, yeah. I'm I'm still trying to get past that second asshole. So, uh, <laughs> he's, dude, he is a son of a bitch. Yeah, he that is, one. Man. Like I literally thought I was not gonna beat this game at this second boss, for sure. <sighs> he and he and he induces my anxiety. I don't really have anxiety. I'm just kidding. But he he does bring that ugh, something out, you know, that hatred. I think that's called rage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, the, the emotional disdain for a video yes. game where it's like, are you are you challenging me? Absolutely. Like, don't even yeah. don't even get me in the mood to even yeah. try to think about playing you game. No. That's Mm-mm. how I get. Like, I'm not. I'm not thinking about that. I'm in a good place. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <right>. Dash. <laughs> um. What's going on, man? What are you uh what are you playing, brother? I've been a gaming nomad ever since I beat uh Resident Evil Village, man. I was doing one game at a time, spending a lot of time uh, you know, dedicated time to them. And ever since then, nothing has really and I think it's just because there have been so many back-to-back releases. Like Mass Effect went in and put in a few hours and I'm like, all right, time to stop this and um try Biomutant, um nice. which we're giving a copy away from, so I'll only say nice things about what a Game of the year, <laughs> game of the year, freaking candidate. Are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> um, 
So I played a little bit of that. I put that on hold for a little bit. Playing some Knockout City. I played with you guys actually earlier in the week, man. Man, that game is fun. It Dude, is. It's fun. So it's good. really fun. It's a crazy blast, man. So and like I like I seriously love that game. I'm really good at it. And the fact that like there might be a, a kid on the other end that I'm just pelting with like dodgeballs <laughs> uh, makes me extremely happy. Yes, I like kids, the attitude, you know? Joe. That's how yeah, I feel yeah. too. That's how, how you I get feel to take you take your rage out, you know? Yeah. You, and it's and it's and it's complete innocence fine. because it's just a video game. It's just dodge. Yeah. I feel like yeah, that yeah, Mortal Kombat it sometimes. It gets intense. It's you know, Mo, you said it. It's like really easy mechanics, but you know, once you get them down, it gets really intense. And yeah. it being a new multiplayer game, you take a day mm -hmm. off, mm -hmm. and it's like you've like you've lost like three weeks worth of like practice and skill because right. I was getting MVP in all of my matches like uh -huh. consistently, and then I took a couple days off, and they add a bunch of new things. I think the season started, yeah. and man, I was getting my ass kicked. So uh, playing a little bit of that, not not a whole lot in the last few days. Last few days, I've been sort of in between a few games here and there. Um, with the Dying Light and, uh, 2 announcement, I jumped into that, and I'm um, having a lot of fun in that one right there. So. Oh, hell uh, yeah, Dan. Oh, yeah. okay. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's right. so badass. Dude, On what, like PlayStation or Xbox? On PlayStation, yeah. I only have a Series S, but if I if I did have the choice, I would have probably done uh, the X because you get that FPS boost, right? You get up to 60 frames yep. per second on that. Mm -hmm. So I ended up getting that it on PlayStation. Yeah. I ended up okay, buying cool. it. I ended up buying another copy for Xbox the other day because I played it on PS. Uh, okay, so Dying Light, uh, <laughs> if, for, for nobody that knows, Dying Light has a very sentimental uh value to me and the reason why is because i started playing it with mike last year when we were playing when we were planning this podcast so, so when it was we were like playing, the game we went yeah to like, like this is like the game we started playing together and like talking about the podcast and how we were gonna do it and whatever so i had it on playstation at the time and then you know ever you know now we're all like in this dying dying light uh phase so uh, or hype you know hype phase so then I That's heard like the, uh, the other day I heard that it's uh, boosted. Uh, you know it has FPS boost on the Series X. I'm like, okay, time to get a second copy. <laughs> but you know, you know what? The, the game really holds up, man. I mean, it's when did it release? 2017. It looks good mm -hmm. still, man. And mm -hmm. uh, it's a it's a lot of fun. I think it's one of those games where at, at the time I didn't play it because uh -huh. it looked like any other zombie game. But it's one of those games where I think you have to play. Um, yeah, and, yeah. And uh, yes. for yourself because it's fun. Yeah, um, I'm actually going to do it uh, tonight. I'm going to do co-op tonight with some uh, some bros on on PlayStation. So looking forward nice. to that. Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll actually well, be picking good. that up on Xbox since there's no crossplay, and all my yeah. Xbox buddies want to jump in on that. So yeah, that's that's what I'll be you, I'll be you, diving into that. Sometime. You have a Series X, so don't you, Joel? Yeah. 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 So, yeah, yeah dude, that, that that FPS boost is going to be sexy too. That's the thing about it. So yeah, definitely, man. It's going to be for nice. It's going to yes, be sir. nice. Mike, what you uh, playing, bro? Well, I have been playing Bio Mutant a little bit. Um, uh, we don't <laughs> have it as a topic. We don't have it as a topic, so I, so I am gonna kind of like dive into go, it a little yeah, bit. Go ahead, yeah. All right, so I'll just say this at least. Um, Hold on, there's. Uh, uh, I'm just one ahead, thing. Well. Remember, yeah. remember, we're giving a copy away tonight, so don't scare anyone away, okay? Got you. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, no. I feel like it's a fair assessment. You know, I feel like it's a fair assessment what I got to give. Um, so there's a reason why the studio is they send out a tweet saying that it's going to get updated like combat system and just some kind of like minor tweaks. Right. I don't know exactly what they mean by that, but I know a lot of the fans were complaining about the hit um like detection or like yes. the way the enemies responds to hitting i saw that right off the bat uh i mean i'm a big combat guy and i like that i did the saboteur so i got dual blades and so a little bit of me was like maybe it's because i got the size no. and they're like made to be fast and not like reactive or whatever and then I like changed my weapon into something else. I think it was just like the broadsword, you know, the big weapon, the one hitter, like woo, 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 like slam yeah. down, whatever. Mm -hmm. And it kind of like felt the same. Like I was still getting attacked whenever I was like doing my final combo, you know, and yep. 
And so, yeah, yeah, I see Joe, I see you, baby. You know, mm -hmm. like, exactly what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And that is, like, true. And so you get, like, interrupted. There is no, like, play back and forth. It's just, like, you're attacking when they're not attacking or when they're not blocking kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Plus mm -hmm. the sizes of the enemies. You got a lot of enemies in front of you. You get your little magic powers. Like, there's a lot of things that I feel like that are, like, that are good. You know, like, the world is very intriguing. I don't really mind the narration or how the guys oh, speak and so and much. <laughs> yeah i see that was a problem too but i've played okami and that is a similar type of game it's like a zelda open world game mm -hmm. and they talk like big -a -big -a blah 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 they do that though while you're reading though but not like <laughs> yes that is true gibberish you're correct now, Ash. right so, so like as they're talking you could like read it as they go and it doesn't really matter what they're saying but with biomune it's like you gotta wait that moment you, or tap X, like that's what people were saying. Like just tap X, bro. And I'm like, no, because then you'll fucking no, because skip. No, you skip the oh, exactly. Okay. Oh, and the story fine. is good. I like even for is me, it, I was like, this is fucking slow. I'm like, the beginning is, is like, so slow, bro. Because I don't know. It's just, it's just <laughs> more like, a, oh man, we need the world needs to be at peace, and like it's <laughs> like we need to be like an environmental type of whatever plus martial arts and be one with yourself kind mm -hmm. of like, bullshit. Did you tag you know me I mean? in for a sec since I'm not giving away a copy of Yeah, go, go ahead, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> so Ains, Ains and I were having this conversation. Like we, we, were, we were talking to each other while we were playing this game. Yeah. And I was just like, I need to, I, I, I'm like, I feel like I'm doing it wrong. So like, I'm okay. constantly like, I was like, you, the saboteur sucks. He just doesn't yeah. feel like he's holding anything. It's like he's rubbing feathers against these guys. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, let me try the deadlock or dead. What? Well, yeah, I think whatever it is. Okay. He has, a, he has a gun, but he has this cool fucking long sword. So I'm like, this must be the long, like the melee class. That's like a hybrid of it. No, he's, it's more gun oriented. I'm like, okay, okay then let me try the, I forget. It's like a another two-handed like style class that one felt a little bit better because you could actually fling people in the air but the impacts off like sound design mm -hmm. in this game is uh is atrocious it's just oh, bad. Man. oh man um and when it comes to the narration i have adhd give me okay. give me something that's not just a single tone and yeah, with the little gibberish i'm mm -hmm. right there with you so mm -hmm. you got this guy this narrator who's like phoning it the fuck in um, and it's just yeah. the one docile tone when he's taught when he's the other person's voices, when he's your the voice inside your head, when he's narrating yeah. just Go what's happening the around the world. Yeah, it's it's like, dude, games like Returnal do it so well. We just you know talk about that a second ago because you could feel every emotion that's coming out of Celine, right? Like mm -hmm. I, I brought up on the trophy room, Moss. There's a single narrator, but she oh, changes okay. her voice constantly to fit. Uh, you know each oh, individual character okay. yeah. the last campfire the last campfire is a great one as well it's so like this game just doesn't do that it does nothing well it does nothing great it Oof. does maybe a yeah. few things good yeah. but Oof. combat combat when it works combat is the good part it's beautiful when it works like the world it looks, looks nice. good like it felt really so it's made by thq or at least like that those are the big heads yeah. behind it and dude like to me like I just felt like a lot of 2018. Like that's what I felt like. I like I love me a good open world game, but this I got one a lot like of 2010. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, it, like oh, it, I was gonna say no shit, Joe. I fuck I fucking told Mo and my boys. I was like, guys, it feels like Darksiders. Yes, that's an old game. That's not terrible. You know, it's one of my favorite. But whatever, that's beyond the point. But like, it just felt like. Where it's just slash slash, like yeah. the combos aren't that intuitive. Like when you're, I mean, they are, I guess. Like I was really surprised. Like there's a combo where you could like throw your guns at them and like get them yeah. back. And once you unlock, like there's a deep like skill level there where it's like if you remember the combinations, like square circle R two R two or R two R two circle or R two right, R two. Right. Yeah, yeah, you know, like it's a weird combination, like which I thought was weird or whatever. Yeah. The mounts is cool. Like I'm very aware of kind of like where the end of the game goes and kind of how traversal like locks on with that. The jank and like climbing up mountains or like, you know, the hand rails or whatever. I was like, they just threw that shit in. I felt mm -hmm. like whatever though. Yeah. Uh, so like I watched skill skill ups review and he was just Same. like, fuck this game. And I was like, whatever, I'll watch it anyways. <laughs> I don't agree with that statement of yeah. like, this game is terrible. Don't buy it. 
I'm not like I don't think you shouldn't buy it, but I definitely think if you're interested, like yeah. go for Wait. it because mm-hmm. I did, and I'm not having a terrible time with it, but I'm just having. I I would say my hardest time is to just remember yeah. that I even bought the game because oh, it's so. <laughs> I know that sounds so fucked up, but like yeah. I just don't have this like. Oh yeah, I got Bio Mutant. I would say yeah. you know what I would say about this game. If you're in this chat, I'd wait a little bit so we give it away. You know, that's what I would oh, say. Oh man, a viewer. oh man, I can't, well, like, I can't wait until. The, I hope Ains pops in here. And... I was gonna say, <laughs> I don't know how Ains in his goddamn right mind said nine point five. Well, no, hold on. the crafting system. See, it's different though Was because if you're like doing saboteur and you're it's like, <laughs> <laughs> if you're doing saboteur and you're like, I don't like these quick hits. Like you can just basically yeah. make a hammer. I like that. Yeah. Uh, people were saying that there was a lot of systems thrown at you in the beginning. I didn't really feel that. I, oh, felt, I felt that. In, like, really? I just felt like yeah. I just needed to kind of sit down, make my first mm-hmm. weapon. Like what I did was, is I did a significant like five hour playthrough of like whatever I could. And then I stopped and I was like, at the end of this like session, I'm going to go in the menus and then figure out the characters and mm-hmm, or like right. the character upgrades and the menus and all that stuff. And then so the next day when I got on it, I was very aware of that, what that was. Plus I had the, the like in the bag upgrades to like level my character up. And so like once I got that, I was like, okay, this is a thing that shines within the game once you get a, the hang of it or whatever. Um, there is one other thing I wanted to mention. Oh yeah. I don't know. I think Ghost of Tsushima just straight up spoiled me because you have to go through the menus all the fucking time. I do not like it when in an open world, you need to always click to go to the map or whatever. Like Ghost of Tsushima with the wind, like that is just Mm -hmm. an ace thing. Like Witcher 3, you want to check your map out? You're waiting well, maybe not now with the consoles or whatever, but like you're, you click, click, okay, go to the map or whatever. But like, and Mo, and I was like literally thinking of you when I played Biomutant because I was sorry, like, there he is. Yeah, go yeah. on. But, <laughs> but, just repeat everything you said about Biomutant. It has three it. hours of Biomutant and it's trash again. I wish I had only three hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and like going through the menus and stuff like that, I was like, "Is this why Mo like has a frustrating time with these open world games? Because it's always like, I need to go here now. I need to open the map, and it's just like I felt like I was doing a lot of like in between. You know what I mean? And yeah. let me tell if you, if I had three hours was... in Bio Mutant, it would have been the longest three hours of my life. <laughs> wow. Wow, I got I got at least ten to twelve hours in it. I got at least that. You know what I mean? Yeah, just, oh man! Oh yeah! Man. Like Aids I freed the first you, settlement. Bro. Aids What's is coming doing? for you, man. It's a bunch of ponies over here. <laughs> you know what? It's though? not bad though. I, at at yeah. least you and Luke finally agree on something. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it gets good after a hundred hours. Yeah, it's a Damn, four out of ten. It's a four out of ten uh, before eighty hours, but after a hundred okay, hours, okay. You know, that's when it really I, looks I, I, I gotta try to be the voice of reason here because <laughs> this game was only made by twenty people, guys. Let's be right. a little See, bit fair. That, okay, understood. That. But Hades, good. Hades I like was bring made that up. by twenty people. Hades what is was it? made by twenty people, and okay. it was the it was the game of the year out of so many outlets because it it, it knew exactly what it wanted to do. Yeah. With the scope that it had, it knew exactly what it wanted to do, and it redefined its mm-hmm. genre. Mm-hmm. Like I don't get, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I no longer support this idea of like, but they're only a team of twenty. Well, if you're a team of twenty, don't try to put fucking like thirty mechanics in this goddamn game in the first fifteen minutes. I just no, <laughs> no, no, I, I, no, I, I agree with you. No, I agree with you, but Ooh, look, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not. This oh, no, is not for for anyone watching. This is not shit talking Hades, but Hades is not as ambitious as this game. Would you agree? I was going to bring say, up the map size and stuff like that. Like, is, is that huge, a big? Is it <laughs> compared to a much to bigger Wines. project, man? <laughs> you know, what I mean? so uh, I, I, I'm just saying. I, I'm I'm still personally making my way through it. I'm still very early. Ains knows, uh, you know, because um. He's usually on the we're we're usually on together at night when we're uh, uh playing something, so yeah I'm still early I'm enjoying it it's it's fucking crazy, 
You know, I mean, uh, it is. It's, it's not it's meant kooky. to be kooky. Yeah, it's kooky. I love it's that. Not, it's not meant to be taken seriously. I yeah. love the. I I love the visuals. I think the controls are good. I don't want to go so as far as to say 2010 joke. God damn, dude, you are just... the one. The biggest thing for me though, Mo, <laughs> coming from like an action guy, like uh, who likes that, like triangle doesn't do anything for combat that was what i was going to mention is like the whole combat string l1 jumps up whatever the fuck that is that's a weird thing like that is a weird thing for me i mean triangle not doing anything for an attack is like it's the because it's the interact button like i get it Mm -hmm. you know but there's no light or heavy attack it's like the r2 mix up and the jump mix up like i haven't figured that out yet you know and that's like a little bit on me like i get it yeah that, yeah, I think, you know I, I think I mean? that like, depends. I don't. I don't think you need a light and heavy attack. I think there's like modifiers for different attacks and whatnot. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm it's not, like if I'm, you I'm dodge, not, yeah. it does something different. It is extent. Like, yeah, man, it's yeah. just like, yeah, I feel you, man. No, I just no, haven't so, really like. I just need. I, I I need more time with it. You know, like I mean, yeah. it, it does start out slow, and and I was t- I mean, again. Ains did tell me. He told all of us actually. He said he's like, look, it's gonna take time. Now this is not starting. And as somebody who loved Death Stranding, okay, this is not starting that slow. No, it ain't okay, that fucking no, slow. No, like, I mean, I, yeah. even close. I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. No, 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 no. no not even I don't know. Death Stranding is oh, one of the slowest on. games hey, I've ever played. I love, I love <laughs> Death Stranding. So do I, no yeah. way this starts out like this. <laughs> they at least, like, at least wait, not this slow. They at least wait like five to ten hours in before introducing, you know, the 18th, you know, mechanic. Yeah, I know. Game, I get that. Know? But the problem is, is Death Stranding doesn't like get its hooks into you until chapter seven. Once yeah. you meet Hartman, and that's, that's like 20 hours, hours into the yeah. game. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, I so know, trust they, me. They they me yeah. after, after chapter two, I was like, like once no, 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 no. Like, so, oh, yeah. well, fuck, I don't even know how this is turning into Death Stranding. But, <laughs> yeah, okay, so the game was good. I, I obviously, play, I, I, I kept playing it, right? So, obviously, it kept me engaged. It definitely kept me engaged. And I played it, but I think what ruined it for me was chapter three. Chapter three was very, very long. There was a lot of, like, f- stupid quests in there that kind of, like, dragged it down a little bit because then you sure. get to chapter four and you get that world war two uh um uh sequence, flashback yeah. thing yeah the sequence that was really cool right that was like a nice uh that was like a nice switch up but as far as like the game just being consistent non-stop that's what i meant i should have reworded it the game just gets to that consistent non-stop point at chapter seven and you can't really ask people to you know, <laughs> to, 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 to commit to, to, to something like that, at least. But, it, um, go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, like, Plank Biomutant did bring up uh, something that I feel like comes up in a conversation a lot, where it's just like, oh, I played, you know, so many hours of a game and I ended up not liking it. And it's like, unfortunately, in some of these games, almost a lot of these games, it's like, you got to really be in deep to, to get that whatever that that satisfaction of feeling powerful or feeling strong because of the upgrades and it's like you know they want you to be like oh yeah i mean i mean just look at it this way if like you're comparing if a game is 20 hours and that's like you know 50 fucking years like in game times or whatever like you're gonna start out low and mm-hmm. like you can't even dodge and then attack you know mm-hmm. it's like they start mm-hmm. you out so so shitty and I mean, you're basic. You're just hey, look, guys, up in Ains your bed. crying. Ains crying, and he's running away. So I can't be here. Not <laughs> 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 a criticism. I can't take you know. Oh, chump. Oh, chump. Hey, oh, oh man. Oh man. And I feel oh, like <laughs> I feel like that's how Biomutant was, where it's like it's yeah. super slow at first, and it's like, but once you get the mount, and then kind of once you get like, I was really impressed with things like. Not all the encampments, you don't do the same thing to clear them all out, so which is nice. Like, Mm -hmm. you can either persuade them if you're like intelligent, if you're not just some (laughs) dumb fucking monkey, little wombat dude, like, I don't know, I just swing swords, you know, or whatever. Basically, what I'm saying, I feel like your dialogue is like high level. You could like persuade them just to skip the entire fight and be like, Yeah, just give me your base, like. Cool, I'm strong, you're not. And they're like, okay, yeah, peace is probably the best way, buddy. Like, okay, cool. You know, but then, like, another one, like, I fought everybody. And then in the next one, it was, like, a whole oh, other, like, thing or whatever. Oh, so I thought the, it was pretty interesting. This is amazing. Hey, hold on. Ains, if, you're, if you are serious here, I will bring you in. Ains, if you are so, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you the link anyway, man, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm just going to send you the link. If you would like to join, you are more than welcome to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <okay. laughs> 
That is true. We do have topics. He's out just a minute. Just a minute ago. Oh, I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go with the family, whatever. And this guy's. Oh, like, he's out enough of your shit. <laughs> He's had enough of your shit. Oh man. Okay. Well. Here's the thing: why I like Gain so much. It's it's things like this. He'll actually go and defend his honor. I like glory. Yeah, he will, coward. man. Oh yeah. yeah, he is a man of honor. He will he will do that. <laughs> Hassan, my man. What's up, brother? Good to see you here. All right. Um. Anyway, me really quick. Fuck. We still we have a lot of topics. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Actually, oh, fuck. Oh, Haynes. Oh, it would have been He's awesome. He's like, nah, man. just Josh in. Oh, all right, man. I love you, That's brother. That's good. I didn't want the smoke, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. I was getting nervous. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, me. Uh, well, you guys already talked about Biomutants, so I've been going through that. More so, Knockout City, man. If you guys hey. haven't played it, played it. If you have, uh, if you have, Xbox Game Pass uh, and whatever. I, I think Game Pass Ultimate has EA Play. Definitely, you could download it there. I think it's discounted on the PlayStation side as well. It's amazing. Very fun. Very fluid. A uh, lot of coordination. A lot of strategy. Easy to pick up and play. Definitely not easy to master. I can tell you that. Uh, so, especially when you start playing against people with you know higher skills or whatnot, man. The shit that they do and. There's just something so satisfying about catching those fucking balls that are beamed at you and just <laughs> God, it's so good, man. Yeah. I had a good feeling about this game before it came out. Honestly, I was telling these guys, I told them, look, I'm hoping this game is not going to be like Rocket Arena, you know, but uh, it's yeah. uh, there, there was something about it. I'm like, you know, we, we have we don't have a dodgeball game like this, you know, mm -hmm. so this is different. This is new. And then I saw an article today on Ars Technica, you know, just basically saying like this is probably the funnest deathmatch style game i have played in a very long time i retweeted that earlier and i'm like and then pretty much like all the points that they made about the game i agreed i'm like yeah you know i mean they they really broke down the game itself and whatnot but i definitely recommend that man it's 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 such a blast it's such it a, such such a pleasure to play it you know i mean so i thought yeah. it was gonna be shitty Remember, oh, bro? Yeah. I was like, oh, what is this shit? Yeah, we all did, man. We thought we were all, we all I, thought we were gonna uninstall well, after like dude. 20 minutes. That's not, you know, I mean, we really yeah, did. Yeah, it gets good. It yeah. gets good. You know, Wild Boys, like, it's amazing how well some people can can handle their balls, but when you got the time, yes, sir, we we all have the time, it seems like. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, go, back, go back and watch the reveal of that. The reveal of that game was awful on the, I think it was a Nintendo Direct. Yeah, it yeah was, you was and I talked about stuff. that. Yeah, yeah. I, dis Nintendo. I dismissed it as well, but uh, yeah. it's really, really freaking Nintendo, good. Nintendo didn't. And really, you got to blame EA, too, because they were the ones that decided to have it revealed <clears throat> uh, on the Nintendo uh, show, and it didn't really get as much time as it needed. But, I mean, you know, then again, how much time are you going to give, you know, like a, a, a small game like this? But I just hope it continues to grow and they continue to keep adding to it because it's it's definitely a blast. And yeah, um, gay a gram is right, uh, and it does need to become an official esport for sure. Yeah, it's awesome. It's fun. I'll go. Okay. Pro. Yeah, you want to go pro, man? Let's yeah, I'll it, go bro. pro. I'm real fucking. Let's good. go. I'm telling you. Uh, yeah. I'm telling you. Then why don't you play with us, man? Practice room. Why don't you play with us? Right after this, let's go. Okay. Let's all right. Let's <laughs> fucking go, man. All right. That's that, that, that's what I'm it's gonna have about, to tape baby. up my hands, guys. If we're gonna get yeah. competitive, okay. Mo <laughs> gets serious. He gets intense. Ball, yeah, ball man, up. That, that game, yeah, that game <laughs> brings get together, out, boys. That game brings out an evil side. I love it. I fucking love it. I love it, Mo. I love it. that game brings out the shitty side of me. God, the other day Kevin thought I was really mad at him. It was so because yeah. <laughs> I was getting so angry. He's like, "Hey, are you really mad?" I'm like, "No, man, I just fucking hate losing." <laughs> oh shit. Okay, um, let's dive into it, guys. Um, let's see what we got. Number one, Square Enix. Apparently, they're working on a new action-focused Final Fantasy title with Team Ninja. Uh, Team Ninja, the makers of. Nio and uh, Ninja Gaiden, the reboots on the Xbox, uh, at least two generations ago. Uh, this game is supposedly called Final Fantasy Origin. It's uh, exclusive to the PS5 and coming to the PC later. And apparently this was part of like some massive leak from Square Enix. This is the only leak I've seen from Square Enix. Apparently, like yeah. there was something that was... They said, like, oh, the entire presentation and blah, blah, blah. And this is really the only thing I've seen. Um, for me, I... Uh, I uh, I don't really care, right? I mean, because it's uh, the, the the only reason why is because I'm like, you know, I'm okay on Final Fantasy. You know, I mean, it's not 
you know, it's, it's not really my biggest cup of tea. And on top of that, too, apparently this game is supposed to be a Souls-like. Uh, Joe, I'm going to go over to you because I yeah. think you know more about this than... Uh, apparently, yeah, it's Souls-like, PS5 exclusive, PC. We don't know if it's going to be announced yet or not, but there's a lot of smoke there, so there's probably going to be some uh, some truth to this. But what do you think of this? Like, I mean, with this whole more Square Enix, you know, deals with, yeah. uh, with Sony. I mean, it's expected, you know, like... How long have people been saying like, oh, hey, like Sony, you know, Sony and Square Enix should partner up or Sony should buy Square Enix or blah, blah, blah. I don't personally think so. Square Enix is like, hey, man, we'll make you money. You fucking pay us. Yeah, <laughs> it's a win-win. You know, it's so I'm not like a big Final Fantasy guy. Like Final mm -hmm. Fantasy 7 Remake was the first one I beat. Mm -hmm. First one I really, if I'm if I'm being honest with myself, gave a fair shake towards. Mm -hmm. Um, So, you know. Even this new one, this Final Fantasy 16, that's supposed to be coming out this year, guys. Mm -hmm. way. <laughs> um, like, doesn't do anything for me. But, you know, Team Ninja, fantastic studio. Neo mm -hmm. is a great series that I can't beat, and I'm thinking about getting into that one this summer. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, they have a pedigree of making these masochistic-style Soulsborne yes, games. Yes, they do. And seeing that they're taking what they've learn from neo and putting it in a or wrapping it up in a final fantasy wrapper and probably making it a bit easier for folks as well since they want this to really hit in the mainstream uh gets me really excited as a souls born fan uh mm -hmm. this I, I could already just see the artwork inside my head and it just makes so much sense that this thing would be here mm -hmm. um and so i'm from from just the basic news i'm I'm really excited. I I'm worried. Not worried. Curious when this game comes out, because mm -hmm. in the rumor it's like there's going to be a test over the summer. Mm -hmm. So this gives me the thought that maybe this is an early 2022 game, mm -hmm. maybe even a late 2021 game. But sure, I, I don't know. That that's the thing that excites me because for me, like I was talking to Kyle about this. Kyle's a big Final Fantasy fan. He's like, you know what? Maybe I'll give this Soulsborne genre. A try and for me it's like well maybe i'll give final fantasy another try because i, mm -hmm. I love the, the the genre so much so that's kind of where i come at it from man I, I i'm really curious to see how this game shakes up and knowing it it's it's pretty much in the world of final fantasy one is also mm -hmm. super interesting sure me oh i yeah. didn't know that yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know it was even in the world of Final Fantasy One, but I'm yeah, more yeah. That's 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 what they're trying to, because like, the, um, it's like Final Fantasy Origins, and so that's sure. what they're they're trying to go for. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. That's interesting. Um, Dash, what do you think about this, man? Does you know this, what uh, next year? Does, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Does does does, does this pique your interest or what? It really, really does, man. When I first heard the news, I was uh really, really stoked on it, but. I read into it a little bit more, and, and now I'm a little bit more, uh, instead of like, this is going to be the best thing in the world, a little bit more cautiously optimistic. Mm -hmm. um, couple, couple reasons why. the I feel like Square has a history of not really doing final, the Final Fantasy license justice when it comes to the side stuff. And mm -hmm. the, the team that actually did Final Fantasy Dissidia NT is primarily mm -hmm. the team that's going to be on this. Um, though they are saying that, you know, the, the Neo team, you know, they do a lot of shifting around, so they're mm -hmm. going to use, you know, the, the, the best of both worlds, the, the knowledge of Final Fantasy from the, the Dissidia team, along with the, you know, the expertise in Souls-like games for, um, from the Neo team. Um, so yeah, that's, that's why I'm a little cautiously optimistic. I'm not, you know, I don't think the Dissidia, I haven't played, uh, the Dissidia games in a while. Um, the latest one, I just picked it up play the PSP one back, back in the days, but, um, they don't, they're not really, um, I'm not really that, that, that into them. So cautiously optimistic there. And then in terms of it being like a little bit easier, like maybe give me like a difficulty setting, but either go all in or, or don't, you know, I, I don't like it when they go like halfway in like uh, Jedi fallen order, you know, either, either, either go all the way and give me that really good risk reward. Give me that really good feeling. Um, uh, mm -hmm beating beating a boss or don't like make me lose my progress for you know accidentally falling off you know sure so um yeah uh i am really stoked on it if it does come out next year and it is tied to final fantasy one it's the 35th anniversary of it. 
Mm -hmm. I don't know if they'll do like some sort of tie in with that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, well, yeah, dude, that's, um, yeah, I just want to, I don't know. Mike, you got anything to add about this, man? You know, I, I'm pretty I sure do, it's going to be confirmed, just a, but. Just to, just to touch, I'm loving this because I love Team Ninja. I love the Neo franchise. Joe, if you ever get on at like Neo 1 or 2 or whatever and you want to like co-op, dude, bro, I, I fucking love yeah? those games. Yes, bro. Because well, real talk, like I'm like, it's, it's, I think 40 bucks right now, Neo 2. I got I'm it, man. Um, dude, it's a great game. Like, I beat one, and Neo 2 was a game that I, like, told people about. Mm -hmm. It was like, dude, we can co-op it. Like, let's co-op. Because they fixed it. That It was like, it, it worked in one, but you had to beat the level to, like, whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyways, they yeah. fixed it, and it's a great three-player co-op samurai game. Um, the Final Fantasy, I want to look back into what you are saying, Dash, about the Dissidia team. I don't know too much about that game, because I love Final Fantasy, man. And... This, like what you're saying, Joe, with the artwork got me intrigued. It's like in the same world as one because each Final Fantasy game is like it's different universe. It's like it's they're, they're not tied together. So it's like yeah. that's a very cool thing. Like that took me a long time to understand, like doing my research into Final Fantasy because I've only played 15 because that's what got me into Final Fantasy that omen trailer baby uh -huh. that is like one of the best video game trailers <laughs> uh and it has a uh, 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 motionless or some shit some movie studio uh -huh. doing the music it's fucking excellent anyways uh -huh. um souls team team ninja souls like final fantasy i am so about this i'm gonna keep my eye on it i, uh -huh. I but i don't want to be like because i do agree with dash like square enix hmm you know they like i don't know if they give us but team ninja though like that's mm -hmm. where i counter that i don't know sure. man but yeah and I'm the Neo much, series. yeah dude i'm very much looking forward to it so yeah. i think the collection's on sale right now on uh ps yeah, right? oh, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah that's so why i'm like i'm thinking maybe i go and maybe i i give it like another go i i really i i'm thinking i, I think i might pull the trigger yeah i think it would make sense for you too considering you yeah. like that genre so I do. Yeah, it's just Neo really wants to punch me in the ball. Something. Fierce. It does. Like, yes, it's very. Yeah, difficult. Neo does, man. I know. Yeah, yes. I stay. Yeah, I smartly stayed away from that, man. Fuck that. <laughs> 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 oh shit. Okay, um, boys, Uncharted, the movie pick. <laughs> Yo, say hello to your mother for me. Uh, okay, I'm Mark. All right, look, uh, I, I think I share a lot of people's resentment on it. Uh, I was. <laughs> We're going to watch it because sure, we've seen sure. a lot of shitty video game movies, but, you know, they're just, I, I, I don't feel like they're, I don't feel like un, a Naughty Dog is, like, on this project, you know? Whereas, like, you know, when they announced, like, The Last of Us uh, show, the HBO show, they said, like, Neil Druckmann and that uh, guy, uh, the writer, they're going to be doing this together and blah, 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 you know? Uh, you feel like there's involvement from... You feel like there's involvement from the un from from the studio side, right? And I don't feel like there's any involvement here. Like I'm just looking at this picture, and I'm like, what the fuck is? Why is Mark Wahlberg Sully? Like why, right? Even if this is a prequel to Uncharted One, right? If you played Uncharted Three, if you remember when he was in the Dominican, when Drake was a kid, Sully still had a mustache and he was still old. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, I don't, I don't understand. I I don't get it. So, uh, yeah, definitely going to watch it. Not going to, you know, I, 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 I don't want to, I, I don't want to, you know, just obviously shit on. I, we can only shit on what we see. And all we see yeah. is this picture. And this picture to me just doesn't do it for me. Right. I don't care about the half tuck, you know I mean? So it's, um, I don't know, man. We'll see. We're still going to watch it because we're video game nerds and, well, you know, we're suckers Honestly, for this type of shit. But, you know, and then also... The if the bar Sonic, how mm -hmm. low can it possibly be? Sonic, well, Sonic was a good okay, movie. so I personally didn't watch Sonic, good. but I heard Sonic was good. It was yeah, all it right. Was good. It's pretty good. It is yeah. very good. Uh, so but yeah, like, I mean, like, that... let's like let's not kid ourselves. Mortal Kombat, if that shit was not on HBO now or HBO whatever the fuck, we would not. We yeah. would. I would. Yeah, have no, been, no, I absolutely. Been happy no, no, Sonic is better than Mortal Kombat. Okay, yeah. that's good to know. That's good to know. Yeah, and, I believe. Uh, I feel. Hey, uh. 
Dan's over here, my man Dan. He's saying Joe is in a constant state of podcast. And you know what, Joe? <laughs> I think this makes a lot of sense, dude, considering you. <laughs> yeah, the, considering the past week and a half. Yeah. I am yeah, one with the yeah, podcast. Man, that's podcast good, dude. Busy me. is better than not being busy. I'll tell you that exactly. much. For sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, Joe, what do you think? Again, like bar can't be can't be low. Like it can, yeah. you know, it's so low that like someone has to jump over and get it. So for me, I I I know they like Naughty Dog does not have. There's no way. Defense. There's no, no way. Like be, be, even even when they were describing this game, this this movie that was in development hell for so long, even like Naughty Dog even I believe hinted at it or said a few quotes about it. Um, and so like for me, I. You know, here seeing Neil Druckmann so close to the Last of Us show, and seeing like this pick. Look, you know, Tom Holland's a very capable actor. Uh, yeah. I don't have any problems with him being Nathan Drake. Um, and when it comes to Marky Mark, he is he's not a he's not a terrible actor. Mm-hmm. He he is either a hit or a very bad miss, mm-hmm. right? And like, if you need someone that's confused all the time or act shocked. He's pretty much your guy. It's like, hey, Nate, what are you doing? Oh, my God. Yeah. We're in the tomb. How do we yeah. get here? Yes. Yeah. Say hello to your mother for me. So like, Say hello. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, and, and I get, like, people may be, like, you're overreacting. It's just a mustache. But, but, like, that's just, we know Sully. Sully is an old dude with a mustache, cigar in hand. And, you know. This doesn't, it, it, this doesn't say it. This doesn't, it doesn't say, say it. it. No. It's, it's just, like, does. he's, he's, he. It seems like he's part of the team where he's always like kind of like the Sherpa of Nate. This is um, the mustache origin story. I mean, you guys that's saw what the I was going to say, Dash. Ah, yeah, By man. the end of the movie, he'll have it and be like, honestly, oh, like let's go on another adventure. The thing, thing is, honestly, like, I, I agree with Luke here too, man. He's saying like Holland doesn't look like he belongs there. This is not to say the guy's a bad actor. The guy is a good actor, but sometimes just some, some role. I don't know. You know? But then again, yeah. like some people were laughing when they made when they uh, when they found out that Tobey Maguire was playing Spider Man, right? And it seems like he did a pretty good job up until Spider Man Three. But you know, I mean, which really the script was out of his control. But you know, yeah, man, I don't know. Yeah, just from first glance, I agree, Luke. I, yeah, this is just not jiving with me, right? Like I remember when this picture came out, the day this picture came out, I tweeted out, I'm like, this doesn't exactly spit out the Sully who says. I'm sweating like a hooker in church. Like, I can't see this guy saying it and laughing about it, right? I'm like sweating like is... a hooker in church. <laughs> you know, because that's exactly what he says in, in, in the first song, if you guys remember, when they're in the jungle. So. Mm-hmm. I do, I do. Yeah. Dash, what do you think, man? Is this doing it for you? This one isn't. No, I like the first uh, Tom Holland one because at that point, I'd already accepted the fact that he was going to be Nathan sure. Drake. But who asked for a young Nathan Drake? You know, you've given us, you know, what, five games of adult Nathan Drake and have given us maybe like a 15 minute flashback of young Nathan Drake. We don't four. want him. <laughs> no, Uncharted 4 had a pretty chunky, uh, uh, well, that's like when him and his brother were in that school, that boarding school or whatever it was, and they were, or that foster care, that yeah. foster school what, that they were what in. What was that like? Up. It was like, what, 45 minutes max? Um, yeah. So, yeah. so, like, this this right here looks like I could I could get down with this. And, you know, There's I don't no want to read. Tuck. There's no half tuck. There's no I half tuck. Yeah. I, I can live without the half tuck. <laughs> uh, but you're right. No, Naughty Dog's not really involved in it. I remember they even made a point where they seemed uh, like not like they weren't like really feeling it or like, hey, we're not involved with that at all. And mm-hmm. I feel like there must have been like some sort of like internal dialogue where they asked like Neil Druckmann to like compliment it. And then Nolan North went out and um, yeah. checked out the set and everything. So there's been you know like how, some internal dialogue. You want to know how I know this movie's going to do good though? Tell I me. got a text at 9 10 oh, no. Oh, no. in the yeah. morning when this picture came out. My best friend uh, messaged me. She's just like, Oh, oh my. <laughs> 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 so, let, let me tell you, just on that aspect alone, uh, you know, this, this kid is going to put, you know, butts yeah. and seats. <laughs> and that, that's the so, thing. They're yeah. not just catering to us, they're not just <laughs> catering to the uncharted <laughs> PlayStation players. Yeah, yeah, I know. We have to keep that in in, in the back of our heads too, yeah. for sure. But it um, looks like it looks like a Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg movie. It doesn't, right, as of now, it doesn't look like an Uncharted movie, and uh-huh. we'll see. I'll wait. I'll wait till the first trailer. It doesn't look great so far. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Same. 
Same. I don't know, man. Mike, you got anything to add, bro? Uh, just, yeah, I, I kind of agree with all you guys. Yeah. I do think it'll be like, oh, and then he gets the mustache in the after yeah. credit scene or whatever. <laughs> Tom Holland he is grows a, into it. <laughs> yeah, like Tom Holland to me is a weird, not a weird actor. I don't want to say that because I like all his stuff. I like him as Peter Parker or whatever. Uh, I want to see Cherry. I haven't seen him. It's like a, like a military whatever movie yeah. about him. But I just know he has range, you know. Oh man, Yo. yeah the the Mark Boogie. Wahlberg thing is okay, I guess, but we'll see. I'm not expecting Dude. greatness out of it. Boogie makes such a great point here. He's like, I'm curious why there is an outrage about them not looking the part. And while there was, remember for Sonic with the eyes, Sonic changed the fucking game. The shit storm that ensued after that. This is Sonic looked disturbing. Point. That's why. This, yeah, and this and does it. Look like, <laughs> Sonic looks like something out of a. Nightmare yeah, he was horror like, show. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, right. I have to yeah. like remember he had human fucking teeth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Eyes. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that was thing. Was, yeah, you know changing what, Boogie, Sonic was the greatest thing oh, that yeah. they could have done. Yeah, obviously. Boogie, you know what though? It worked, man. Yeah. yeah it made yeah. people happy. So With this, I think it's, it's like like you can't I under it's because it's real people. So sure. like you can't get someone that looks one to one like Nate. Mm -hmm. And you know, look, you know, Heath Ledger changed the way we perceive casting, right? Where yeah. I remember when he was Joker, everybody's like, "This is the dumbest shit. This, this right. is gonna be awful." And he revolutionized the role. Mm -hmm. So, like, not to say this any of them is gonna have a Joker esque performance, but like, that's why I think there's not as much outrage. Yeah, but, yeah, that's true. And yeah, then, uh, Mark Wahlberg's not like a terrible actor. Like, you know what I mean? Exactly. Like I like quite a bit of movies that he's in. So yeah, like I just, I like just him did something. The departed is great. Like his role. Oh, yeah. In oh, the yeah. Departed is fantastic. yeah. Yeah. But in the departed, he also had an incredible cast around him, That's oh, true. which yeah. I, which I think really helped Two elevate good. his role. You Two know, guns I, with Denzel uh, yeah. was good. Yeah. I've seen that. And here comes Dan with his just blatant Tom Hardy disrespect as usual, man. You know, at least it's not Tom Hardy. You can flush that man. I watched that Tom. fucking Legends movie yeah, the other Dad. day where he's Killing a twin. By the way, Dan, I thought about you too. I was Ooh. like, Tim loves this fucking guy. Like, <laughs> plus, there's two of them in this movie because it's like a twin gangster <laughs> movie. It's great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, we'll see what happens with that. We will. We will. Um, Keep an eye out. Better okay. be better than Tomb Raider. <laughs> yeah. All right. I was going to. I was going to talk about Valve working on a portable Switch-like console, but I don't even think there's anything to talk about until we see something. So I'm going to move on. <laughs> so crazy. Yeah, it is a crazy bit. Like Xbox and Nintendo are dead? Yeah, yeah. The, oh, what is it? I'm sorry. <laughs> what is it? I, I, heard, I heard Xbox and Nintendo and uh, Xbox and Sony yeah. are dead. Yeah, Valve's taking yeah, over, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 It's game over, right? Yeah, fuck yeah, that. One, it's fucking that chapter 11 bankruptcy. Up. It's over, <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean, we're already well on our way there, you know. So Valve is taking over, baby, taking right. over. Um, okay, so let me get to the next one. PlayStation Plus games for June. We got Operation Tango, Virtual Fighter Five, Ultimate Showdown, and man, I've made that sound like two different games. Virtual Fighter Five, Ultimate Showdown, comma <laughs> Star Wars <laughs> Squadrons. These are coming June first. Really quick, what do you guys think of this? I actually like Operation Tango. I was going to. So I didn't know that this game was multi-platform. I had first seen it in some Xbox event, I think, or whatnot. And I was actually, yeah, and I was actually planning on buying it for Xbox. And then I noticed, uh, yeah, because some people asked me, like, I made this list and I tweeted it out a couple of weeks ago about like what games I'm looking forward to, at least games that we know that are confirmed. And some people are like, "Wait, what's Operation Tango?" And I'm like, um, "I'm like, uh, I, I don't know, man. Like, it's just co-op. It's just a like, cool." unique co-op game you know it's got like a cool style so anyway to my surprise it's going to be the ps plus game uh next month so i'm like okay thanks for saving me 20 or 30 bucks <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> so, <laughs> uh but yeah uh, other than that yeah that's really the only thing i know star wars squadrons is uh it's like by a lot of people uh i know luke played it i don't know if you guys did play it luke in the in the in the, in the chat but um uh, what do you think, Joe? What do you think of this uh, offering? Uh, do you, I, I feel like it's a little bit like there's nothing that's whoosh, you know, like because yeah. E3 is coming or, you know, like this whole month and especially because Ratchet and Clank, I don't think they want to put anything that's whoa, you know, right before yeah. like one of their showcase games for the month or for the year. But what do you think? 
I think the biggest whoa is Virtual Fighter because it it just <laughs> is announced, right? Yes. yes. Um, even then, like, uh, I'll, again, mm-hmm. I'll play it for five minutes. I'll see what it's all about <laughs> and not get past the tutorial. That's fine. That's that's what I'll definitely do. Uh, mm-hmm. Star Wars Squadrons. I wasted forty bucks on that game. Got me super sick, but it's awesome to see that's here. I love Star Wars, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, Operation Tango is a game that I'll definitely get my co-host Kyle killed. Uh, mm-hmm. repeatedly so mm-hmm. um yeah like uh, it's a solid month it's another solid month <coughs> excuse me from for playstation plus i think they've done a really great job i think this may be um knock on some type of wood uh the best year for the service honestly they, they, they're pulling out all the stops for it so mm-hmm. it's oh yeah it's great if you're a ps5 owner and yeah. even if you're not download these games what's the worst that's yeah. gonna happen you know mm-hmm. Absolutely. Dash, what do you think? Real quick, yeah, you can man. still, if you don't have a PS5, right, you can still download them off like the app or the browser. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's yeah. what Jordan Clutch. did. Yeah, yeah, so that's Clutch. what Jordan did. Jordan yeah. did that before yeah. he got his. Yeah, so. It, it's I, a, it, I, I, oh, go ahead. go ahead. No, 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 man. Go ahead. I was going to say it's, it's a decent month. Nothing, yeah, nothing flashy. But, man, for, for a service that you pay 25 bucks like a, a year for, a month like this pay, pays it, you know, all on its own right there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, nothing really jumps out to me, but at least I can keep Star Wars Squadrons in the shrink wrap now. I don't have to open that up now. Yeah. So I have that like uh, I have that on PS4 physical. I have that on Game Pass, and now I have it on PS Plus. So I nice. will eventually play it. And then uh, Virtual Fighter, I haven't you know I haven't touched that series in, in forever, but that's kind of cool. I was check, kind of checking out like the the improvements. Uh, I was always more of a Tekken guy because. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're a Tekken fighter. guy, yeah. Oh, I was a te- Tekken guy. Uh, yeah. I'm a Tekken oh, three. <laughs> Tekken three. <laughs> Virtual Fighter Five was too technical. I couldn't button mash my way through it. And then Operation Tango, I gotta check that one out. I'm not that familiar with with that. Um, okay. Just a brief clip. So uh, Dan said I had no idea uh, Star Wars Squadrons was on PSVR. So he yep. said that if you have it, it's outstanding. That's 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 cool. All right, oh, but that's a crazy experience. I, I had no idea. That's cool. It, it makes sense for this game too because you're you're in a cockpit, you know. So yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. All right. Well, a what, Mo? You're in a. Yeah. <laughs> 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 anyway, so, I get it. Yeah. That's a dick joke. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what he wanted me to say. <laughs> 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 Fucking guy. All right, boys. Peace out, dude, uh, man. Have a good one, bro. Uh, let's see. Next topic. Um, we got the Xbox and the Bethesda Game Showcase confirmed on June 13th. So I heard, um, you know, obviously there was rumors initially, and then they both came out and they confirmed it. And, you know, people were looking at the logo or the thumbnail that they used. And, the, you know, Halo is front and center. So for all intents and purposes, we are definitely expecting a big... Halo Infinite reveal, re-reveal, uh, and I am, um, yeah, for me personally, that's probably like, I mean, everybody knows I'm a huge Halo fan, so for me, I'm just like, yep, okay, let's go, right? <laughs> like, the whole fucking show could be Halo and I'll be okay, but <laughs> of course it's not. Um, but there's also like, they pulled something from like Starfield, you know, uh, you know, from, uh, from the symbol and then... Uh, what we're expecting too. There's a lot of shit flowing out, floating out there. I I don't know what uh, you know what they're gonna show. I'm hoping they show a new Wolfenstein. To be honest with you, oh, you know, cool. uh, I mean, there's I heard some shit about Avowed, which was revealed mm-hmm. last okay. August, but I don't know, man. Um, I'm not so which sure. Which one about is that Avowed, one. Mo? Avowed is the one that's from Obsidian. Uh, that's the one with the uh, sword the, and the, 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 the flame. The, yeah, yeah, the, and the flaming right. arrow that that goes through the air. Yeah, you know, that's the one like, I mostly want to hear about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A lot of people do, including myself. But that's like more of a uh, Skyrimish type of uh, type of game. Okay. And um, yeah, man, I'm I'm ready for it, dude. Honestly, you know, instead of like me sitting here and telling you guys like this is what I want or this is what I whatever. I mean, yeah. All I know right now is seems like for all intents and purposes, we're gonna get Halo Infinite. We're probably gonna get. <coughs> starfield okay and <laughs> and that cough was intentional <laughs> and uh then uh what's it called the, the oh shit that uh oh did i freeze i nope, don't know you're man. good bro you're good yes. now you froze now you now have I'm froze uh-oh you know what just in case mo doesn't come back i'll take it from here 
You know, I'm not afraid. He left. He's gone. Oh no! Wait, he's he come back. Here. He is fucked yeah, up. He's, oh, wait, wait for it. Anyways. Wait for it. Wait for it. He's coming. Just gotta give him. He's still. I. We see a square. No image. No yeah. voice. Oh, he's out. He's huh, back I in. wonder. Now we got a pin. I wonder. What are the odds? He's straight frozen. Well, let's proceed on yeah. a little bit. Joe, what do you think about this Xbox and Bethesda? I'm very curious about it. Um, one, a lot of people are like, listen, set the expectations here. Set them. Uh, a lot of people are like, let's not get carried away. The, you know, uh, the pa- the global panorama has still affected us severely. So don't expect all the big blowouts because... Okay, that's chances true. are it's not going to be this year, and I feel like you could say don't get hyped, but this industry just it, that's we're satiated from it. So, you know, knowing that Xbox is going to have a 45 minute event and then hand it off to Bethesda, and they're going to have like a 45 ish minute event, right? If it's all even, because both of them said it's you know, in total, it's 90 minutes, which is great because you, you don't want a two hour event. I'm going to be I'm going to be just tired from all the all the hype for you know an hour, let alone ninety minutes. Um, Sorry, guys. But I think it's just going to be be a kind of a bit of a smaller showing. Xbox focusing in um, Halo, selling us on Halo, and what's going to be coming out in the next eighteen months, and kind of giving you brief snippets on those things. But I think with Halo being there, it's a 10, 15 minute chunk. And then, like, going, we'll give you, you know, multiplayer later at the Summer Games Fest. Um, and then, you know, kind of like as a as a redo for last year. And then having 30 minutes of just game after game after game. Please, yeah. please, please. If you're going to copy PlayStation's format, or just copy PlayStation's format, mm-hmm. copy Nintendo's format. Please, for the love of God, stop. Stop doing what you've been doing the past few years. I feel like they're great at communication when it comes to social media, when it comes to putting on shows that it's atrocious. So just please copy the formula. Just show us game, game, game. Get us excited. Show us Halo. And then with Bethesda, have it show us what Starfield is. And even then, I don't think it's that's the big game because everybody said it's a late 2022 game. So all those people that are telling you 2021 were full of shit and they don't have any, they don't hold any responsibility for getting people this excited, this hyped over a fucking logo, which mm-hmm. is, um, you know, just the state of it. Right. We just take those people's words as gospel, and then when it doesn't happen, we give them the benefit of the doubt because reasons. I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 So that's my whole thing is like, we got to keep our expectations set here. If it's a 45 to 45 minute show each, and you know there's going to be a couple minutes of fluff here or there. Just set set your expectations accordingly. Like mm-hmm. I'm excited. I'm excited to just see new stuff and yeah. hopefully get some release dates on some things. Um, and maybe I get to see more Fable. But knowing there me, I'm go. like I'll be happy with a Forza. I'll be happy okay. with a Wolfenstein Three. Yeah. You know I'll uh-huh. be happy with anything because uh, that's what it should be about. It should be just uh-huh. be about ex- celebrating games. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm a yeah. little confused on how these dates are working, guys. Like, Go can somebody it. explain to me this integration of Game Fest and all this? Like, isn't Game more Fest thing- is separate? Yeah, okay, separate. yeah, okay, okay. So it is separate. Okay, and that happens when June the 10th. And that's a few days, Actually, right? Yeah, that's that's a that's a good question because I know one is on the 10th and this event is on the 13th. But I think this event mm-hmm. is this its own event or is this oh, part it of, is its own event? Part of it E3? is E3. It's part of E3. So, Are we sure? Yeah. Because Microsoft well, was never technically part of E3. They used to they yeah. used to do their shows during E3, right? But they used to do them at the what at the uh, Nokia Theater. Yes. Yeah. At, yeah. So. Street, yeah. I don't know if this is like the same type of situation so or not. Unless, yeah, uh, so here's the Xbox show on the 13th. Oh, that's on, well, they have the Game oh, Fest. So this is the Game on, Fest website. Yeah, so, so they have it on their Game slot. Fest. Okay. I don't know, man. They're yeah, both you're, you're claiming right. it, and that's the thing. Oh, oh are they? <laughs> and Summer Games Fest are claiming that this is a, a their event. And um, very clever by Jeff Keighley of, hey, just trying to take the momentum out of E3. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. getting us to talk about it less you know yes yeah absolutely man 
Well, yeah. Um, the I have no idea. You know, I mean, I'm just hoping. You know, I'll, I'll kind of just piggyback off of what you said, Joe. You know, just uh, hopefully that they 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 bring it and they put together something solid. And there's uh, me personally. <laughs> I like talking about this stuff because there's some people that get sensitive when you bring up some issues, right? Like if you do, if you bring up legitimate criticisms, and that's why I like to be in the position of not giving a fuck about either, you know, side, right? Because yeah. I can literally sit here and say whatever the hell I want, right? Like without feeling like somebody's going to sit there and judge me. I don't give a shit. Um, that, you know, I think there are legitimate criticisms when you sit there and you, you know, like, I mean, yes, they have, but they have struggled in the presentation department from before. You know, and for me personally, I don't want to retread this whole conversation again, you know, because uh, uh, there's a lot of people, even pro Xbox guys, right? Like a lot of big pro Xbox guys, they themselves have said it, right? Like, I mean, they need to deliver. So yeah. if, if these are people that you look up to, you know, I mean, and they're saying it themselves, then I think, yes, they definitely need to deliver. Uh, no, they don't need to cure world hunger or to solve world hunger. Okay. Or to bring world peace, you know, for the, for the snarky assholes out there. But uh, definitely, I and I do think they know that they have to do this. I think they uh, that's the expectation, you know, and they know that Halo Infinite is their biggest goose egg, their golden egg this year, and I think they're going to bring it, dude, and we'll see. Um, yeah. Dash, what do you think, homie? I don't, know if, I don't I, know if you gave your take on it when my shit died. I'm sorry, by the way. No, I didn't. Um, I actually thought their last showcase was good last year, last summer. I thought they went game after game. I mean, of course, like there were a lot of CG trailers and everything, yeah. but I think they went like almost all in. I feel like mm -hmm. they felt like they had to go all in before the Series X launch. And by that, I mean they were you know, announcing basically things before they were even ready. You know, Fable, Avowed, um, Everwild. I mean, no real gameplay footage from any of those. State of Decay mm -hmm. 3. So I'm kind of curious as to what they have to show here. I agree with all the points made about X. I think I think Halo is going to be the cornerstone of the Xbox portion of the of, of mm -hmm. the presentation, yeah. and then Starfield on the Beth Bethesda side. Um, and it's smart. It's smart that they're you know combining them and doing 45 minutes each because you guys remember the Bethesda presentation from I think it was 2019. It was like a two three hour long show with like rock bands and stuff like that playing. So. Um, I think this is going to be a better paced show. Um, and yeah, I'm keeping my expectations sort of um, like sort of like neutral. I think they have the potential of having a, a good show to a pretty good show. I don't know if it's going to be a really great show this year. I think that might be next year's show when some of these games have a little bit more maturity. The Perfect mm -hmm. Dark has a little bit more and, and so on. So I think that you know between their first party offerings and – you know, having maybe a, a really big announcement with Battlefield 6 on Game Pass or something. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Partnerships, you know, mixing in some of the indie stuff. There's Psychonauts 2. I think they could have a pretty good show. Um, I'm not sure, you know, uh, I'm not sure if an Avowed or anything is going to be there. But, yeah, we haven't really heard too much from uh, Bethesda games besides, you know, Deathloop and uh, well, Ghostwire Tokyo. Yeah, yeah, but those are coming to PS5 for the first year, so they're not gonna they're not gonna be at that event. They're not. You know, they're yeah, not. It's a, yeah, yeah, they're not. Yeah, they're yeah, not gonna but, be at the, at the event. So we. But besides that, I haven't we haven't heard a ton uh, of from them. So they might have some surprises there. But yeah, I, I think we gotta sort of temper our expectations, and mm -hmm. and if we do, we're gonna. I think we're gonna enjoy the show. I think they could put on a pretty damn good show. I think the best way for me to approach this, like, is to basically say. I just hope they do enough with it. I think their Halo presentation is going to be fantastic. Like, I think they've learned their lesson, especially with that. But I think what they're going to do is they will provide enough to carry people forward into next year, into next year's show, right? They will yeah. provide you with enough and they will give you enough. And they, will, I think they will satisfy the fans enough, you know, until next year. You know, they're not going to tell you like, oh, wait till next year. Like Jeff Grubb the other day, he's like, you know, just wait until the 2022 uh, Xbox show. It's like, no, man, we haven't even fucking seen the 2021 yet. Like, come on. Like, d don't yeah. do that. Don't do that. Like, I hate it when when they well, do that. Like, no. We've been doing that for years. Like, no, yeah, like, the, like yeah. I just don't like it when that, when that happens, right? Because, like, I understand he's trying to temper people's expectations, but at the same time, like, no, dude. We're, you know, like, we're fucking fans. Let me see that shit. No, I don't want to wait till 2022. 
I know there's shit coming in 2022. I want to see now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're in the first year of the new console launch. Like, yeah, show me shit. That, of course I want it. So, yeah, yeah I don't know. I least, just think that's least. a fair expectation. I'll be, I'll be honest. Because you what just bought... I, I say I think that's also like to be honest a fair expectation, because you just bought a, like a five hundred dollar thing. Yeah, or to buy a five hundred dollar thing, like you know I think that's a fair expectation of like okay so what's your first two years gonna look like, and it I I I feel you there. I'm still yeah. at the level of like just show me anything and I'm a happy camper. I'm gonna be happy. Boy. Yeah yeah yeah. I'm gonna oh, be yeah. here talking about Xbox and probably streaming it with Luke Lauren, mm-hmm. getting him shit because he sucks. <laughs> but i think uh I, I also think too they said you know there's a heavy rumor about forza horizon 5 and mm-hmm. apparently that might be like the first uh series x showcase game you know like i don't know if it's exclusive to series x but apparently it's supposed to be that's a, that's what Cole brill was saying the other day on uh on twitter so we'll see you know i, th- I think there's gonna be one surprise that we're probably not a- anticipating or expecting but Overall, yeah, man. Um, Mike, you got anything uh, on the show? I'm looking forward to this a lot, actually, Mo. I really like the whole Bethesda Xbox, like, Fusion Mm -hmm. or whatever, Mm -hmm. just because, like, I mean, I might be just, like, labeling it kind of, but it's, like, Bethesda's the Western, like, Avowed to me is, like, one of the biggest games that I'm looking forward to. Mm -hmm. I do agree with Joe there where it's, like, if they do show Halo, they're going to try to be, like, oh, yeah, last time was, like, fucked up but here it is though you know like i really do feel like if i do i feel like at any time if halo is shown at all this year you know that's what they're they're gonna try to come back hard and maybe it'll be here in this game fest everything else yeah i mean i'm looking forward to it like my expectations like i still don't believe that we are in the the industry like how it was before the pandemic and it was just like flourishing Mm -hmm. like it is flourishing in a way but in in regards to like because bethesda just got with xbox they got to figure out all that copyright shit or whatever it is and like where it's distributed and how like the exclusives are going to work and they peace out mo and they got to figure all that out and i feel like it's going to take a little bit longer than just a you know six months to figure it out because if they want to really start being like putting putting the resources towards bethesda to make bethesda kind of their like star studio of like let's pump out xbox exclusives like let's make these only for series type of deals you know what i mean like that's what i think it's going that's why i'm looking forward to it and the expectations thing because i haven't really followed xbox as much as probably you guys have like especially you mo Mo, i know for sure like my expectations are kind of like halo avowed and like that's kind of it you know what i mean as long as fable's cool like i have always been into fable i've never played them but like i appreciate what they bring to like the gaming table you know what i mean and so like that's why because it to me it's like i'm jumping on this train like as a new age is like hitting it so i feel like that's good for me i'm not trying to play catch up or nothing like that Mm -hmm. so like my eyes will kind of be on this bethesda thing xbox bethesda thing so let me bring up a couple things over here then said will there ever be a time where we don't have to temper our expectations yeah, blow yeah. my balls <laughs> 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 uh, well yeah i'm sorry like, with, Dad. Like, with, with <laughs> gamers i feel like we always want to see like the second coming of christ or something like that like to me it's just like just show me something cool i'm such an easy lay it's just i I'm think just happy that to be there <laughs> Yeah, I think like the 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 narrative around next gen greatest graphics. Look at <laughs> ray tracing and like these yeah. kind of like uh like very classy sparkly words that get thrown about. You're like mm-hmm. expecting like like why doesn't it look real real? Like why does it look like I'm looking through a window? Like oh look at these fucking graphics. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know. Like maybe people. Th- like had such high expectations for these new gen consoles that like whenever we actually kind of get like the best of the best that you're kind of like oh i guess we're not that ahead in technology as i thought we were Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like don't get me wrong 60 frames and and 4k and all that stuff looks great and i like i i think it looks so great that even as a guy who plays on the older stuff like right now mo i am just like fucking over 30 frames bro because i've Mm -hmm. seen the difference i know the difference and i am just like oh this like tear and these like 
uh, you know, it's just like, uh, we're over it. But we've been spoiled, though, I think, and thinking that these consoles are going to take us out of space or some shit, you know what I mean? But well, I don't yeah. feel they, like they, we're there yet. We're not, but, like, think about uh, 20, what, 2013 when we were looking at, like, infamous second son. We're like, whoa, this yeah. is pretty cool, right? <laughs> yeah, and yeah, you yeah. compare <laughs> that to where The Last of Us 2, how that ended the generation, right? So we're, at the, we're at the start of it right now, and exactly. I don't think anything has really blown me away. Like, I was uh, spending a lot of time in the castle in Resident Evil. I'm like, look at all these freaking details. Yeah, or, yeah, like, yeah. some of the things that Returnal does. Um, we're starting to see some of that, right? We're starting to see go, some Josh. of that with Ratchet, yes, right? Yes, sir. Um, Horizon looked really good, you know. So yeah, we're starting okay, to see okay. some of that. Good point. Good point. And uh, I think we'll, I think as the years progress, we'll see a lot more of that. Just real quick on the tempering expectations. I'm not saying like expect an okay show or a mediocre show. I'm saying if you if you follow all of the rumors that you see online, you're gonna always yeah. be disappointed, yeah. right? If yeah. you're expecting a Vowed and Wolfenstein and a Starfield release date and all every single thing you're not going to get every single one of them you may get a few of them mm -hmm. yeah that's yeah. why you know i, I miss I, it's it's times like this where i miss like the days without internet because you know i'd, I'd watch a an e3 event i'd have no rumors or any expectations whatsoever they show me a fucking couple of games that blow my mind i'm like wow it just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> yeah. This is this is freaking awesome. But like we build up these expectations for probably clout, uh, for the for the people that, okay. that are above it all. And uh, um uh. And, and and it gets unmanageable so much so that yeah, you have to go out to people going, Listen, man, it's not I don't think you're gonna see water in the wine like I told you guys you were gonna see a few months ago. <laughs> the, things no. have changed. Um it so that's I just go in going, Okay just happy i'm here mm -hmm. yeah and i also joe just kind of like you know continue on to that it's one of those things to me as well where it's like i don't really know what i want until it's given to me and then yeah. once it's given to me i'll be like whoa didn't see that one coming you know like exactly. that's cool and i like that you know what i mean like that is very mm -hmm. cool like i do ask for a lot of stuff and like no they should have did it like this or like sure. this is the franchise that needs to like progress and you know why are they not you know, whatever, doing certain movements here, you know, and it's like at the end of the day, like they're in the office making the plans and we are not, you know what I mean? And Absolutely. a lot of this uh, recently here, I've been seeing a lot of like, there's a lot of old, older dudes in the industry, like gaming industry and like the movie biz, you know, and it's like, are those the kind of guys that we want to be like? And that's why uh, Phil Spencer gets like the, the homie treatment because mm -hmm. it's like, he's like a you know, he's a one of us kind of guy. But like when you look at uh, Jim Ryan, you're like, what's up, dad? Uh, shit. Oh, I cussed like my bad, whatever, you know, kind of, kind of vibe. And I get that, you know, it's like, who are these guys up in the studios? Like, are they like vigorous and, you know, like, no, let's make some trippy shit. Like I yeah. did this experience last night and like, I got a new idea now, you know what I mean? Or are they just like, no, let's just make money. Like that mm. one's working. Let's just keep it safe, you know? But yeah. So I like to see like, as the time goes on and we get a little bit more whippersnappers up there that like fucking take sweep the rug right out out of the uh, yeah like take the rug right the out of the stuff. old dudes and yeah, like, mike will surprise you with with his lingo yeah. sometimes benjamin button over here uh, <laughs> oh shit, dude. Yeah, no, that's good man that's good uh um, i felt like i was in my past life during the depression oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. Uh, right here, Diego, you never fail to come in here and call us losers. Yeah. I love you, you fucking loser. Thanks for being here with us, man. <laughs> you know, I appreciate you. Got him. Got and him. Bomber, my fucking son. Good to see Bomber. you here, brother. All right. Um, okay. So that is for the Bethesda. I mean, look at the end of the day, I think we're all, we're all looking forward to it for sure to see what they got. Yeah. Um, okay. Really quick. I want to touch on it. Resident Evil Village. It shipped four million units in less than three weeks. That's all I wanted to say. Good for it, say. man. Capcom's Resident Evil, it, no so it's it's selling faster than Resident Evil Seven, which has sold nine million total. But um, wow, it, yeah. But wow. it's good to see this, man. Four four million less than three weeks. This is uh, this is great. Good for the franchise. Good for gaming. And okay. uh, they definitely did. Uh, it's 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 a healthy man. Capcom, Mike. What have I been telling you, dude? Capcom's renaissance, bro. I love it. I like this this the last fucking generation. It's been all fucking Capcoms. Just this huge renaissance. Well, it's so Bring good to see them doing Mega so Man. well, man. 
I don't oh, think yeah. I've been this I much. Got, I hear that movie. dash. I hear you, brother. Yeah, I hear me too. you on that mega. I'm with. Movie. I'm with you, Joe. I'm with you. Yeah, they've been. They've been lights out, man. They really have been. Good for them. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. Now, Bloomberg. There's a report from Bloomberg that says. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Um, the topic I I forgot. So so. Uh, this is really if if now if somebody is interested you can l- read the documents because they're pretty I mean they're they're out there but this is regarding what Sony told their investors it was like this investor report I'm not going to go over all the details okay but basically just to 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 pick a few things out and uh, uh basically uncharted 4 is heading to PC uh, this was does it's not confirmed but it was there in the report under the PC section so for all intents and purposes it seems like it's heading to PC um as well as others, you know, since Jim Ryan has himself has said, like, we are going to focus more on PC releases. I still don't think it's going to be day and date, but it's going to continue to happen with the ports. Uh, they're also in the in the investor reports as well. They said they're making more live service games. They're making more studio their uh, PlayStation Studios games on mobile, which makes sense considering how big the mobile market is around the world. And uh, all you have to do is look at the acquisitions from EA and Activision, all, all these other mega publishers that make mobile games you know like these acquisitions of mobile game studios just to see how many millions of dollars these guys make on mobile games so not uh not hard to see why sony would want to dive into that and they also said as of march 2021 the pc release of horizon zero dawn has earned a 250 percent return on investment for sony so if you're wondering why they're going to keep pumping these games over to PC, this is exactly why. Not only does it give you not only does it give these games a second leg or just it breathes new life into these games, but you're giving it to a huge audience as well. And on top of that, you're making more money off of all of these uh, IPs as well. Horizon Zero Dawn came out in 2017. How long has it been on PC? Uh like a year? Uh, if if I, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah. So 250% ROI, which is pretty impressive for them. Now, Uncharted 4 coming to PC as well. I don't know how they're going to do that considering the previous three games. I don't know what they're going to do. Maybe, maybe they do the Nathan Drake collection as well, uh, just to kind of introduce the PC crowd to the to the games as well. But I think things are looking pretty uh, good for them and up for them. But uh, Joe, what do you what did you think about? all these games you know look dude you're a playstation guy and yeah. you're obviously a fucking normal human being you know so you seeing this type of shit you know the, these games coming to the pc you're like yeah yeah yes. fuck yeah bro well, <laughs> Let, well, that, that's I'm what needs still, to happen let them play i'm still so confused why like like a playstation uh, we were talking about this earlier on the iron lords like why is it that if i go into a GameStop, god for fucking bid and I buy Ghost of Tsushima on my PlayStation, and then little like you know Tommy walks in and he buys it on PC. How does that ruin my experience? Mm-hmm. How does it dilute the? Experience? I don't know, dude. I don't know, man. It's ah. using PC architecture. It's probably an easy port. I don't know, but like, go ahead, do it. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah. The P- here's what people need to understand. stand. <laughs> it's it, 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 it lose my mind at this. PC people. <laughs> Don't go out there going, oh, shit, Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, shit, Last of Us. I'm buying a PlayStation. Like, some do. Sure, there's some uh, crossover. Yeah. But when you take a look, if you're a big, con- you know, giant conglomerate, and you look at a few thousand people that may boycott your machine mm-hmm. over this decision, or you take a look at a market like China that you want to break into that holds billions of people and millions of which have mm-hmm. computers... And you're like, oh shit! And oh, and you could sell your console there for sure, mm-hmm. but in only select places and markets in that mm-hmm. region. Mm-hmm. Or you could take a look at Russia and go, huh? Huge PC crowd over there, mm-hmm. massive. You could take a look at the Ayatollah over there in Iran and go, oh shit! <laughs> look at that. They have all PCs too. These are three growing markets that we want to dip yeah. our toes into yeah. and get a massive return out of sure so sure. it makes complete sense if you're just have a brain cell that says this move makes absolute sense just looking at outside markets let alone the inside markets where mm-hmm. look 
I, I I know a lot of PC folks out there, and this is not scientific if I just fucking know three people with PCs, but they don't they don't care usually about PlayStation or Xbox. Mm-hmm. They don't yeah. they, they care about the next graphics card. Yeah. And yeah. Nintendo is like the only yeah. it's 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 like the invulnerable force. So they'd be like, Yeah, I got a switch <laughs> for like Mario Kart. I got switch for like the you know, Zelda, and that's yeah. it. And yeah. and they go with you know, they don't care. They don't care. You're not going to convince. Listen, you're not going to convince a guy that just spent three thousand dollars on a rig to go out there and buy a PlayStation. Yeah, obviously that guy spent happen. a life happen. savings on this console. Are, yeah. are you sure, Joe? Are you sure, man? <laughs> you know what? Now that you're saying it, I don't know. So it's like it's like, a, duh. This makes sense. Duh. Yeah. So yeah, like you could test the waters with Horizon, which did okay, and you could test the 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 waters with Days Gone, and who knows, maybe Sony sees fifty plus thousand people playing it concurrently and going, huh, maybe there is an audience here after sure. all for this game. Yeah. So again, if you, I I don't understand how. And every time I have this conversation with someone, that's just like, oh no, it has to be PlayStation. It, has to, mm-hmm. it dilutes mm-hmm. the experience for me. I'm mm-hmm. like, well, then t- tell me, idiot. Tell me how this yeah. makes sense. Yeah, they're just exactly. like, well, because more people can play it than I can. But you know, I can play it too, but it's not as good because maybe it is on this. It's like, Shut the fuck up. I hate it. I hate that argument so much, Mel. It's you know, one of the things that grinds my gears. Uh, uh, yeah, the other thing, too, is it really makes sense. I mean, look, we. The, the, I was looking. The one statistic I was looking at is when they said like the percentage of their uh, their revenue. You know, in terms of like console mm-hmm. sales, what was it like eighteen percent or twenty yeah. percent or maybe even less? When you compare that to the days of the PlayStation Three, it was fifty two percent, right? So those were really the days where it was just like, hey, the more consoles you sell, the more money you make, right? Yeah. I mean, and you kind of see like obviously the market has shifted since then and now you're seeing why they have decided to go that route right yeah mm-hmm. of course at that yeah they still want you they're still going to bait you right this is why they're not going to release games day and date on the p on the pc they're gonna yeah. bait you right oh you want to play this one you need a ps get a playstation you know it, you know they're not my they're not xbox xbox does things differently right exactly. but they're both and, successful and, and we talked about that before say, and, and, and for the folks that say, well, why doesn't Nintendo do it? Why doesn't Nintendo do this? Yeah. Well, why doesn't Nintendo have a competent fucking online service? Yeah. yeah I yeah. don't know. Because they always get away with murder and everybody knows exactly. that. They, yeah. like, like, I, why that's why I don't even, people, I don't even include them in these people $25 for fucking fast travel. Because they know yeah, they can get know. away with it. I know. Because they're dummies. I know. I know. And, if, and, and, and when it comes to the Chinese markets, guess what? Guess what? Mario's being played on Android devices over there. Mm-hmm. So they 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 bend the rules every yeah. No, oh, they have for they themselves have. as well. Yeah, they so have. Like, they, they definitely yeah. have. The day the day that Animal Crossing doesn't sell thirty six million fucking copies on the Nintendo <laughs> Switch is the day that they'll come to PC. So let's get our heads out of our ass. Understand that these companies need to make money. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and uh, and yeah, the the day the day Mario doesn't sell Buku fucking disgusting amounts of money on this thing, <laughs> they'll go to PC too. Yeah, games yeah. are getting more expensive to make yeah. constantly, and if you're PlayStation yeah. and Xbox, they're constantly going up because of that R and D. If you're if you're Nintendo, you get you get to make your little kitty game that's like six frames per second on your little switch and everybody loses their mind over it because it's all about the mechanics at the end of the day yeah so like yeah nintendo gets away with murder because they absolutely can get away with it Mm because we've taught them that it's okay to hit us seriously it's what it is just a little harder yeah man no it it really is it's the the, the truth yeah, everybody. and this is just a reminder for everybody from Diego that PlayStation, yeah, PlayStation is, dead. is dead. Everybody right? is dead. It's, it's fucking trending. disgustingly dead. <laughs> yeah. Chapter 11. All right, I keep repeating it. Chapter every, 11. And every time I hear that conversation, it's like, what does it matter? What does it matter? If, if... <laughs> it's like, oh, this is fucking great. <laughs> what does it matter if company A or company B does something? Who cares? Who Who cares? Who cares? More the people fucking... get to experience this game. 
They're taking I'm your fucking... money, man. They're, they're, <laughs> they're all looking for new revenue streams. I mean, yeah. even Nintendo right. is expanding on, you know, and having mobile games, right? Having Mario, the Mario Run game and, and, and so on. So they're all looking at, you know, they're seeing the PUBGs. They're seeing the yeah. Genshin impacts go. and all that. They want a piece of that pie too. And yes. whether that's PC, whether that's services, whether that's mobile, they're going to mm -hmm. go after that. Yeah, Joe, I think you covered the whole uh you know playstation games on pc i'm, I'm stoked that uncharted's gonna you know go to pc and and it totally makes sense with the movie coming out and everything for a whole new audience to be introduced dude. for it mm -hmm. oh my bad dash i'm not trying to interrupt you but i'm just like dude as in i'm agreeing with you yeah yeah <laughs> so I'll, I'll talk about the live service thing i don't this, i don't see that as uh you know okay cool let's get Corey barlog and neil Druckmann. stop what you're doing and and make the next nah, Fortnite. make the nah. next destiny you don't you're not going to get your michael jordan and put him in the you know the baseball diamond you know yeah. uh, you're going you're to keep your michael jordan on the basketball court they're going to i think they're going to do that through maybe their smaller studios they're going to maybe do that through uh they're going to maybe do that through partnerships like they got with uh, firewalk studios right like yeah, yeah. a lot of, a lot of like former bungee people there um, so th they're they're gonna expand in, in in those sorts of ways. I mean, they already have sort of tried to right with like destruction all stars and so on. So they're again they're looking at these various revenue streams and mm -hmm. uh, looking for other opportunities besides the big triple A games because those are really expensive to make and they mm -hmm. take a really long time uh, to put out mm -hmm. every like five years or so. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely, man. Oh, yeah. It's they're broadening their portfolio just like Xbox is broadening out their portfolio yeah. with single player RPGs. PlayStation's gonna probably do that with Haven and Firewalk in terms of that next big multiplayer sure. game, yeah, uh, that both have kind of alluded mm -hmm. to. So yeah, that's the thing, yeah, but it's just it's 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 just hyperbolic, bullshit, you know. Yeah. Oh, live service games! Like, no, stop! You don't know how to do this, these people's jobs better than they do. It does not mean your fucking games are not gonna are gonna stop being made, and they're just gonna focus on live service games. No, it's not. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If anything, <laughs> it's it's more like they want to add a live service plan mm -hmm. to their already established plan because what they what yeah. they see. Uh, Shit, man. I, I would go on to a big ass adventures mm -hmm. bit, but I don't mm -hmm. want to. But that game, sixty dollars to buy. Mm -hmm. The yeah. only skins you get are not in game. They are purchased through real money. Yeah. yeah. And motherfuckers buy it like it's candy, bro. Oh, uh, I mean, you... I, I was on some on some threads and they were like, Yeah, well, I don't care. Like, I I buy everything every week anyways. And dude, that's like a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Or I mean, I might my, my yeah. math might be a little off. It's give or take fifty to a hundred for mm -hmm. skins, bro, that don't do anything. Mm -hmm. And you're so Avengers was such a failure, but they sure are raking in the dough from the couple thousand people who love that shit mm -hmm. every day. MCU Iron Man suit just came out. So like the live service thing is not like this. It's not like, oh, oh, now it's a live service game. That means it's going to be trash. Like, mm -hmm. that's not the case, man. Like, if anything, it's going to bring in a lot of money. Uh, mm -hmm. But I know this is about a PC and Sony doing the PC thing. But uh, I like that, actually. Uh, I was just looking up the Horizon Zero Dawn numbers. And in the past 24 hours, it was about 6,000 people plus playing that game due to the hype. I've seen a lot of people play the first game due to this trailer and all that stuff. And for them to be playing on PC, it's like, shit, bro. I bet it looks ace. I bet it looks yeah. crispy clean, mm -hmm. baby. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, man. And can I just just keep going, man? Can I just say, as a PlayStation player, though, like it's 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 fine that PC is getting the sixty frames per second performance and all that. Throw throw a bone back at the PlayStation players. Give us, <laughs> give us an update. Let me play Horizon. We, I want. I'm stoked. I'm stoked on. I'm I'm hyped on yeah. the Horizon on the Horizon hype train too. I want to go back and replay that, but I'd love to replay mm -hmm. that at sixty frames. I was expecting so, them to, to to announce it at uh, at the event. Which we'll get yeah, to later, yeah. but yeah, I was expecting an enhancement, but clearly it didn't come. But and for all the, again, for all these people freaking out about PlayStation games coming on PC, it's like last <laughs> week you found out aliens exist. Okay, there's like so many bigger things. <laughs> 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 ah, shit, that's right. You know, that's there's so right. many bigger that's things right. that we. It's so shit. Yeah, come I know, on, I, know, I, I, I know. go to NASA. I go that tech that we've witnessed is a hundred to a thousand years more advanced. Did you than see us. that shit? <laughs> and if you if your heart didn't sink via panic attack, knowing that one of these little like gray motherfuckers could come out of this disc and just evaporate mm -hmm. us all, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. 
all of a sudden, the whole fact of a PlayStation game coming on PC sounds pretty minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, though, man. But yeah, you can... Uh... Yeah, you could definitely worry about whether a PlayStation game is coming to PC or not while you're being anally probed. So, <laughs> food for thought, hey. baby. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. Uh, next, I wanted to... All right, so Bloomberg report. Apparently, there's a new upgraded Nintendo Switch, which has been rumored for like two or three fucking years now. But uh, supposed to release in September or October. And assembly starts as soon as July, according to people familiar with the matter uh maybe announced ahead of e3 to allow publishers to showcase full range of switch games uh and other thing too i don't want to spend too much time on this since, unless obviously it's confirmed but apparently the other thing too is uh if it, it it's going to cost more so they're going to keep the light version phase out the current version and introduce this one so mm-hmm. apparently this one is going to replace it and it's going to cost more I don't know if it's going to cost three forty nine, three ninety nine. I, you know, just uh, with the improved tech, it's going to probably have so, something very similar to the form factor. It needs to play the fucking cartridges, you know, that it has. But mm-hmm. apparently, yeah, more performance is better. Obviously, I don't know what they're going to announce. There's rumors of a Metroid, new Metroid. Uh, if it's Prime Remastered or Prime Four, I don't fucking Whatever. care. Whatever it Give is, it I'll, t- I'll take it. Yeah. Give it to you me. You know, and then, <laughs> and then obviously there's gonna you're gonna have Breath of the Wild too. So they definitely want something out for that as well because they know that's going to be their... It's their ace. They All yeah. their fucking games are aces, right? But this is their ace. This is their yeah. 2021 ace. This is their... Oh, you got Halo Infinite. You got Horizon. You got this. You got... We have Breath of the Wild 2. And we need to make sure that people who are going to buy Breath of the Wild 2 also spend another 350 400 bucks on a new machine that they're inevitably going to get. So okay. I just think that's going to be the price point. Joe, what do you think, man? Do you think this is? Do you think this has legs? Do you think it's going to happen this year? Everybody's telling me it is. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, my my hype level for a new Switch is kind of like abysmal. I got this Switch Lite next to me, and after buying it, because um, I'm like, yeah, I, I never have it do- docked in the TV, like whatever. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, I miss having this thing on the TV because I can't mm-hmm. read Hades font for shit. Um, on that small old console, but mm-hmm. does this do anything for me? Not really. I'll right. probably end up buying it though for Zelda because mm-hmm. it's Zelda, and I'm a sucker and a piece of shit. So like, I'll probably do it. <laughs> um, and again, yeah. look, Nintendo. Like, how hard do you need? Do, do you want to hit me? I'll allow it because <laughs> I'm a dumb and I'm used to. You're this so cute. Just, just give me a go. Give me a wall. Just oh, choke oh, me. Oh, oh, oh. Daddy Miyamoto, <laughs> just choke me. So yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I I don't know. I if to me it it, it sounds like they they want to do a four hundred dollar <laughs> machine, which okay. Uh, it, it sounds strange that it's going to be more expensive than the old Switch, and then they're going to kind of you know twilight tech. that that tech, and at the same exact time charge more for this one. It can't be three fifty. It has to be a solid nine or a zero at the end of that. So, so you know, most people are just going to assume, oh, three hundred fifty. Well, it's four hundred. You know, so yeah. like, yeah. yeah. I remember when I tried to tell people that with, with, with the Xbox Series X or show, you have no idea what you're talking about. It's going to be like two fifty nine ninety nine. Okay. Right, okay, cool, cool. Okay, and the realism set. Um, I'll switch you. <laughs> yeah, let's do. Let, how ballsy would that be? Switches. Oh my oh god! Man. It's Switch retribution, game. man. Yeah, they're switching. You didn't want to buy the Wii one. U. Yeah. Well, we're gonna buy this one, and we're calling it the Switch U. <laughs> and, and that's the old goddamn Switcheroo. See what I did there? Because yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's Wii great, games man. on this console. So, yeah, I'm not. I'm not excited for it, but I know I'll end up buying it because I'm a mm-hmm. sheeple. Yeah. Well, we're just degenerates, Brandon. That's really what the fucking problem is. Uh, Dash. Yeah, what do you think about this, man? All right, so speaking of the Wii U, do you you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of all those years, I think 2010 through 2012, where we had rumors of that Wii HD. How how much did you guys hear about that Wii HD until it finally turned out to be the Wii U, right? So (laughs) I I don't know what this is. You know, um, I'll probably get it as well, but I want to see something from them. You know, I want to see the games. I don't, I don't, you know, you can talk, we can talk specs all day, 
We go to Nintendo for their games. I go to Nintendo for their games. And it's not going to be enough to, to show me, hey, cool, this runs Call of Duty now or Assassin's Creed. Like, great. I play those on Xbox and PlayStation. I don't mm -hmm. care about that. I don't buy the Nintendo Switch for that. Um, I want to see Breath of the Wild 2, at least, at least Breath of the Wild 2. I want to see, like, show us Metroid Prime 4. It's been like three or four years. Please don't show fucking tease me. What has the Mario Odyssey team been working on, right, since release? They Apparently a rumored Donkey Kong game, right? Like, sh show us yeah. what, you know, they haven't really done anything besides some remakes and remasters and all that over the last couple of years. I'm going to need more than Splatoon 3 to get me hyped on it. But guess what? At the end of the day, like we've all been saying, we're going to buy that shit anyways. So, <laughs> and Nintendo knows it. But, you know, at least give us, at least give us Breath of the Wild sure. too. Yeah. 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 Mike, where are you at with this, man? Any, uh, any hype yeah, for Yeah, it's interesting. It's yeah, cool really and care. stuff, but yeah, I don't really care too much because <laughs> Nintendo has only been, like, slivered to certain characters, like the mm -hmm. Metroid, the, mm -hmm. the only guys that I can get on Nintendo, you know what I'm saying? And right now, I don't play my Switch enough to be like, ooh, I need that, you know what I'm saying? So it sure. is interesting. I'm happy for people that want and like and do all that shit mm -hmm. but i just don't play my switch enough and when i do play it i'm happy with what i have and it's just some mm -hmm. pokemon you know a little bit of zelda breath of the wild a little bit of smash brothers whatever here and there mm -hmm. but yeah with what i got i'm really happy with right now and the five percent of the time that i play it i'm just like oh okay cool like i'm gonna break these controllers probably if i play anymore so that's yeah. like one thing why i haven't bought hades because i was like yeah, I'm gonna break my controllers if I buy that game on the Switch. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. absolutely, yeah. that's the case. <laughs> yeah, you know. So it's like I hope, like, and it also kind of makes me think, like, a few years ago when, like, kind of the pros and the ones were coming out, where it's like they either have it so locked down with their technology and what they're doing that they only give you a taste at first, and then they're like, oh, but this new, like, new and improved console, the like the plus version of the console is coming out. You know, and we had that technology before, but we kept it from you. So two years later, we can get like a bigger buyout from like the customers and stuff. Uh, I feel like the Switch got caught up in that kind of shit. And so maybe they didn't know like that because I mean, it only runs 720 handheld, right? And uh -huh. 1080 like at the most or whatever. Uh -huh. And so they're like, oh, shit these people really are into tech and they're really into those 60 frames and they're really into the 4k. So like we need to kind of catch up to that. So mm -hmm. uh, that's what it makes me think about where it's either Nintendo is Nintendo is either playing catch up or they're just finally getting around to that new and improved like section or whatever. Like, mm -hmm. because I know me and you Mo have talked about it. It's like, what comes after the switch? Like what is their PlayStation five? What is their series X? This, yeah. I don't think so. I feel like they have more to... I don't know, you know, I don't know. Nintendo is always an interesting thing. They're, they're yeah. cute, man. It's a me, a Mario. <laughs> and and that's, why I, that's why I compared it to the, the Wii U. I mean, it was a similar situation where they're like, they need an a HD competitor to 360 sure. PS. Okay, okay. That, that I didn't general. catch... Uh, okay, Dash, I feel you. Like, because so, I was not a Wii U guy at all. So, like, yeah. I kind of missed... Okay, I got you. But, but I don't think, you know, I don't think they want to make that same mistake, though, right? Where they split right. their audiences and, you know, I yeah. think they, they want to keep they're not selling 30 million units oh that of, makes sense uh, no. mario game i see what you're saying the switch is their the switch is their lightning in a bottle bro they're not gonna fucking lose that yeah they're gonna yeah. stick they're gonna stick with it they're, it's it's incredible how it successful is. it is so um yeah definitely okay let's see eh 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 all right well you know what uh yeah just uh, there was sonic central event they announced a, a new Sonic game made by Team Sonic in 2022. They announced the Sonic Origins uh, package that includes the old uh, Sonic games from the Sega Genesis, including 1, 2, 3, Sonic & Knuckles, and Sega CD, uh, for the, the Sega CD Sonic. Um, and then they also included... Uh, oh, they did a remaster of uh, Sonic Colors, which was actually a pretty good 3D Sonic game. They did a, It's called Sonic Colors Ultimate. Xbox, Switch, and PS5, but... Uh, you guys, uh, anything, anything there? Did anything like uh, tickle your fancy from that show? I mean, I don't really care, honestly. I did pre-order Sonic Colors because it looks pretty cool, you know. Sonic I mean, Colors but... is the only thing of like substance. Yes, there. thank like, you. That was yeah. the only thing to even get remotely yeah. excited for. 
mm-hmm. everything else. Yeah. It's like yeah. I saw a guy in a Sonic suit, like <laughs> doing doing that. Oh, that was the like baseball game, dude. <laughs> oh, that was so fucking bad. I saw that one, man. Oh my god, yeah, that, that was that was the one of the Olympics uh, trailer, right? Yeah, and yeah. just and and that made me lose faith mm-hmm. in humanity a little bit. So like, <laughs> that's how I mostly feel about Sonic. He's mm-hmm. just, um... Sonic is a staple character. I feel like he has like potential. This looks cool, man. Yeah, like this looks I've, cool. Yeah. I've always been interested in the Sonic and like because one, he looks cool. Mm-hmm. He is cool. I think a lot. He does have the potential of being like the Mario or like the mm-hmm. Master Chief or like you know the the Kratos or whatever you know I know I know he's not like ripping dudes in half or whatever but you're tracking that'd be right fucking, just that'd this... make it more interesting <laughs> I know right <laughs> like oh, run look. through someone dumb in Mortal Kombat no but yeah. I think Sonic with the movies and all that stuff like you know he definitely has like some repertoire for sure tails sure. cute everybody likes knuckles and all that sure. kind of shit sure. like he falls in that Ninja Turtles category where it's like it's not nothing that i go to like i seek out but if it's put in front of my face i am like fuck yeah bro like run Mm -hmm. fast little dude you know so but i just don't see him unless if they totally like redo and re like and bring him up to the 21st century like if they don't do that with sonic anytime soon like i might drop the character you know like you can only do olympics and all this stuff but even mario like has gone into this like platforming three dimensions sure. like you know we got sure. worlds and all this shit and like sure. sonic is still kind of based on that one track like because this is why they don't make a flash game because how do you make a fast character in a video game feel good mm-hmm. like i don't know no like, yeah. that's why probably like how do you make fast characters make everything slow-mo uh well i'm just moving at a normal speed then and everything else is slow-mo or whatever i don't know you gotta you can't make that perception in real life you know what i mean but i like sonic a lot i just have a feeling that he won't last too much longer unless they do something great with him sure. and I, I don't like i was even surprised to even get this much if, like news from sonic like whoa they're doing such a big event on sonic like the movie yeah. must have been something like oh hey look at the spark like the movie did mm-hmm. good guys like let's push mm-hmm. sonic sake i like okay let's do this i don't know Apparently, Sonic it's is more, more popular, popular than, than Zelda. Zelda? <laughs> yeah, Diego, <laughs> are you? I'm surprised by that too. But the the kind is of that funny true? guys, the kind of funny guys did a Google Trends thing, and it just like it's like five times more popular. It, and... it honestly makes sense as as much really? as I hate to admit it. Because like, think about it. Like, I I, I could bring my 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 six year old mother in here and be like, "Look at this hedgehog. Look at this twink in a tunic. Yeah. Which one do you yeah. know more?" And she's gonna be like. Oh, it's that's more, Sonic, right? It's more no of a way. That's no, it's more of a household name. If I show if I show Sonic to my wife, she'll probably know who he is, right? Yeah, yeah I know my wife will. But too, if I yeah. tell her Link or his Legend of Zelda, she'll be like, "Oh, wow." Yeah, so mm-hmm. it's more of a household name. And Y'all no, this does not represent page? more a, a better quality. This is just yeah, okay. Just I think I even said it popularity. on Twitter. Like, that's it. <laughs> I think yeah, popularity sure, but I think Sonic wishes. That yeah. franchise wishes oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. that was yeah. as loved and revered. Not as, even, not even fucking as, close. Uh, as Blue Sonic. Sonic. Or yeah. Is. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty impressive, man. That Holy is Holy shit. Yeah. yeah. I was surprised the gap was that big. <sighs> that's amazing. But, yeah, I know. I, I know, mean, but... I, I get it. I get it. Y'all are making very sound points. Holy mm-hmm. shit. That's just mm-hmm. surprising. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's what we were talking about, Diego. You said argument was funny because people are making it a thing of Sonic games are better than Zelda games because people are oh, fucking really? stupid, right? And that's why I said that disclaimer, and I was like, this is not an indication of quality. This is only about popularity and popularity, nothing else. exactly. So exactly. yeah, I, I thought that was pretty funny too. And yes, yeah, everybody was- relates yeah. to animals, man. Movie like- gained movie gained mind share definitely. So that that definitely yes, makes yes, sense for sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, okay, boys. So. We had three reveals this week. We had Dying oh, Light shit. 2, Horizon Forbidden West, and we had Far Cry 6. Um, Dying Light 2, I'll start with that, and I'll go around, and then I'll just uh, move over to, to Horizon, and then Far Cry 6 to end it with. Um, so Dying Light, yeah, I said Dying Light uh, was uh, this thing for us. You know, uh, I... Looks good to me, man. You know, it looks awesome. Uh, the there's performance uh, modes and quality modes. You know, 4K with ray tracing, 
and uh, I'm not sure what the, I know. There's they said that there was going to be three modes uh, for uh, on the next uh, on on these current well the new consoles. So yeah. looks awesome. Looks uh, the the fidelity is great. Um, I liked what they showed. I hated that fucking event, you know, because I can't stand that fluffy shit. You know, apparently it's the so voice tell actor. Me what this it's, world's about? It's the voice actor for the game, and he's asking these developers like, "Oh, so I heard the game is four times bigger, motherfucker! You don't know that? Like, I get the, I get what you're going for, but come on, man, we were all there for that shit. Nobody wants to listen to that. You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of those Ubisoft events. Division. Where, <laughs> yes. You know, like, hey, hey, hey cover me. Let's go. I'm, yeah, let's go me. into I'm gonna this, go to this dark here. tunnel. Hey, you what got that? Uh, you got batteries oh, for the flashlight? <laughs> <laughs> That's Nolo Bro 69. He's the, the like, best. It's just like this extra <laughs> stuff we don't need. You're not making the presentation any better, man. Have one guy. Have him introduce it. So, you know, also, boom, boom, boom. He was one, wearing two, three. the biggest sweater ever. Mm. Yeah, what I saw that. The I sweater. noticed that too. I it's noticed like that. When, you know, when you're a child and you wear your father's sweater and it's like, you know, it's an adult. <laughs> and so you're just, you got the, <laughs> mm -hmm. just the dumbest yeah, thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely, man. But I am going to, yeah, but uh, so anyway, Dying Light looks, uh, Dying Light looks great, man. Dying Light 2 looks awesome. And I, you know, I, I, I don't want to spend, uh, you know, we, if you haven't played Dying Light, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, you know, between like the first person parkour, it's probably the best I've seen in a game. Uh, the zombies look fantastic in it. The world is uh, huge and uh, begs you to explore it. And I think uh, 2 is just going to be all very, very good. And I love the fact that they showed it because the game has had a lot of questions about its development. And uh, I'm glad that it's, uh, I'm glad that it's, being released you know at least like it's tangible now on december 7th i'm gonna go around to you guys what do you think uh joe what do you think of dying light are you interested i know you said you're, you're gonna play the first one right yeah uh -huh. i'm too scared <laughs> i was the too night, scared to yeah. play the first one like the night time happened i was like and eh, no, i'm gonna say no thank you but um honestly i i, I i'm buying the premium edition uh or what is it platinum edition whatever uh, mm -hmm. Tomorrow, I'm going to be playing it with my Xbox buddies. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited for Dying Light 2 because honestly, that presentation, um, besides like the thing that there was obviously like a set, um, mm -hmm. really sold me on it, man. Like it sold me on the world, sold me on the like, you know, your actions affecting it. But like the hand to hand combat, the melee combat was mm -hmm. really fucking cool. Like there was yes, one point was. where you mortal combat, like get over here. Mm -hmm. One, like one of those guys, like you, you do a whole bunch of crazy shit. So it, it kind of, to me felt like how I thought, you know, Resident Evil village would kind of feel like, mm -hmm. so yeah, no, like this, this has me, I, I'm, I'm sold on this game for sure. 100, mm -hmm. 100%. Mm -hmm. I'm just scared that like one person in my chat said it, is this going to be a cyberpunk situation where like they give you all these info drops and they sell you on the world and you know what ended up happening? I hope not, but well, to know. be, let's be fair. This is the first one that they've shown. Oh, sure. Yeah, but they're yeah. like, there's going to be more to come. And we're this oh, next yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. That. Yeah. Let's hope How not. you can do all types of flips and shit, which is the coolest part is like <laughs> over 3000 <laughs> animations for you doing like backflips and yeah. stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Like into yes. the trash and stuff. Oh yeah. Cool. yeah that was yeah. pretty cool. Oh yeah. Uh, Dash, yeah, what I'm do you in. think, man? Cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it looks it looks really cool. The melee looks cool. Like I just saw like a clip where the guy like almost like parried the guy. He like caught his blade and like hit him back, uh, like decapitating people's heads off. It looks awesome. And uh, man, this game probably has the first one at least has probably the most satisfying kick and drop kick in the in the world. Man, I was just going around drop kicking zombies. Man, it was awesome. Um, so looking forward to that. It, it looks a lot better. Like I said, the first one still holds up visually, and this one uh, looks like a, like a huge improvement on it. Like the zombie models. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. excuse me. The infected models look a lot <laughs> look a lot better. Um, and yeah, these games are just like a whole lot of fun. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. I don't know if it's going to be like a day one thing. Um, it looks like it's dropping later, late enough in the year where it might be one of the last releases of the uh -huh. year. So yeah. if it's not a crowded window around it, I'll probably pick this thing up. 
Yeah, I, I pre-ordered that collector's edition. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was so fucking nice, man. That black light little statue, whatever. Yeah, that is cool. a cool little feature, Mo. I thought that was cool yeah. for the collector's edition. Mike, I know you're yeah, a fan I'm of this game. Fuck, yeah, bro. Room. Mo, Dying Light 1 is, like, the reason why we play that, because it's the game that I tell people, like, when I meet new, like, hey, this mm -hmm. is a multiplayer game we could play. Mm -hmm. It's story. Zombies, mm -hmm. pretty easy. But people get, like, drawn back by that. It's like, oh, it's just another zombie game. Like, no, fuck, no, it is not. It is the best zombie game, I believe. I am expecting great things from Dying Light 2. It literally has, uh, like, it, it has given me the hype as if, uh, like... For like a Spider-Man game or like a, just whatever top tier game like it is be, just because like one to me was one of my first top three or five PlayStation 4 games. So to me, that was like the next gen at the time. And I was just so impressed with it. Like you cut their legs off, you cut their arm off. You could like you can like systematically like put it tear them into little chops and it like helps you out. The more you jump on things, you upgrade like. I have, like, I was so surprised to see so many people on Twitter, like, I haven't played the first one, or, like, I didn't get through it. I am just like, really, dudes? Like, this is the game that I'm always passing to people. Like, dude, you want to play a cool game together? Like, let's play Dying Light. You know, let's play Dying Light. It's got secrets. You can go down in tunnels, and it's like a Doom or Mario 8-bit. You can pull Excalibur out of a certain stone if you find it, remember, Mo? And we were, like, chopping fools up electric swords electric machetes fire machetes like kicking zombies into spikes like mm -hmm. baiting them into electric traps it's lovely dude and it's so responsive and great the shooting sucks i would say you get vehicles later on in the game like it is just it is so good of a game and it's not that scary. It's like creepy enough to fuck you up, but you know you can like <laughs> persevere through it. But you're so fast, man. Yeah, uh, yeah dude, I am looking so forward to Dying Light Two, man. Mm -hmm. And I just like I'm super pumped. Good shit, right. man. I know you are. I know we both are. So that's gonna be fun. Um, all right. So next is Horizon Forbidden West. Fuck yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, they showed it, um, and uh, they did a 14-minute, what was it? It was really a total of 20 minutes. It was a state of play from earlier this week. And this is, uh, for all intents and purposes, for the PC crowd who's here or who also plays it. If you're enjoying her for Horizon Zero Dawn, you're most likely going to get Horizon Forbidden West there as well. But to get back to this, it looks like a bigger, better in every aspect in every facet really type of you know situation that we have here everything is more lush you know if you notice like the colors are not as monotone as they were not that the game isn't beautiful or it wasn't lush from before but this one's like got that veg more vegetation and the blue from the ocean and then the and obviously like a lot of this also comes with the the new tech, the new hardware, right? Like, I mean, it's 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 possible to give you all of this shit crammed up into one freaking, you know, into into one biome or whatever it is, whatever biome you're on. So, I don't know, man. Yeah, the we haven't gotten enough in terms of like the RPG mechanics or system itself, but the game itself looks unbelievable, man. You know, like I mean, you'd be hard pressed to to deny that. Uh, at least even from a visual perspective, you can clearly see yeah. they're kind of like addressing that whole climbing thing, you know, in the first horizon they had like, oh, there was only certain places where you can climb now. Like it seems like they're alleviating that with this hook, at least, you know, um, I'll let you guys get into it because I mean, if I keep getting on and on about, you know, the, the, you know, there's a, just a breakdown. Like I, I think we'll each end up spending like a half hour. But yeah. I really love what I'm seeing. I love the underwater. Look at this, man. The underwater section is absolutely gorgeous. You know, I mean, so, um, yeah, man, it's uh, it's it, it looks like they're probably they're definitely gonna have another winner on their hands here. But uh, what do you think, Joe? Well, you're excited for Dude, this one, man. Uh, so again, I'm a little bit of a broken record here because I I love Horizon. Uh, like I say all the time, Horizon's the reason why the trophy room exists. Uh -huh. So, like, this game holds a special place in my heart. It may not Very be my cool. favorite game Very out cool. of this generation, but yeah, it is, it's a thing that, that really started off the way for me. That being said, uh, some of the things that really impressed me, um, A, climbing mechanics. First off, the game, its vertical slides very much seem like more of an Uncharted game. 
and very linear in that nature. But the one thing that takes me out of those experiences is when they have those yellow lines in different sections, right? Because you're like, oh, okay, I jump here. Having to scan the area and then seeing all the things that you can interact with. I think it's just such a smart way to clean up the world a little bit. The other thing that I did like was the hair physics. I know a lot of people that like to play with frames and Greg's face would point out that there's a, a point where the hair clips in her shoulder in one of the cutscenes. I would tell you to go fuck yourself and get over yourself. Um, it's literally just everything else is amazing. If you take one frame out, of course, whatever. It's so stupid. I'm overblown. The hair underwater is out of this freaking world. Like that's how hair would 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 seemingly navigate in water. That's it's just crazy how it just floats like that, man. And the the school of fish as well. Like I'm watching this again. I'm just like, it's just everything feels like it's existed here, and I'm just passing through it. Um, the facial animations as well just blow me away. Like this is this is what again we really wanted from 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 the team and the melee combat looks astounding so everything that horizon needed to do and also it's skyboxes chef's kiss everything they needed to address from the first game they've addressed here and the the response from it other than from one loser on twitter um it has been absolutely amazing if you're if you're playstation this was the fastest state of play growth this is the most popular state of play in only three hours tells you how healthy the brand is overall but how how people are excited for this franchise as a whole so to me everything's pointing positively that this game is bound to be another big hit for playstation and Again, I'm super excited because Gorilla has been making great games for decades and having them have these two games that are really showcasing their their talent uh, that you know they love is is something awesome to see. So I'm I'm happy that they 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 got such a big win the other day. Yeah, that being said, that... the game's dead cuz it's 30 FPS in this stream. So yeah, that's the other thing too. Yeah, we we don't necessarily know. Uh, we don't know. You know, I mean, yeah, it's, it doesn't look. It, it's kind of weird, man. Like it doesn't look thir a sixty, but it doesn't look thirty, right? Like I mean, I'm wondering like if there's some type I thought, of unlocked. I thought, I, I thought sixty frames were uh, confirmed for. I thought it was. Uh, I I don't know. Uh, not that I saw. Uh, Joe, did you see anything? Nothing yet, but we can assume. I, I mean, with their track record of like, here's a performance mode, here's a resolution mode. Yeah, that I'm pretty sure. On all their that, games, yeah. that it's going to have something here as well. Yeah, I'd be very yeah. sh shocked and surprised that yeah. that would be the case. And mm -hmm. I think closer to launch, you're going to see the original game get a 60 FPS, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Yeah, definitely. And this is still running on the Decima engine, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jesus definitely Christ. a much better. What Better a look, fucking yeah. crazy engine, man! Yeah, I know, holy man. smokes! You should dude. watch the you should watch the 4K one on uh, it's uh, if you have a 4K TV, if you can like stream it there, it looks awesome, dude. Okay, really yeah, I will. Oh, yeah, I will. Dash, dude, what did you think of this, man? So it it being a state of play, I was a little worried. I'm like, are they gonna have that movie theater uh, narrator voice where it's like, now yeah, story, now uh, Horizons next, and uh, the opposite happened. They it was just a phenomenal presentation. You know, we had we had two others to compare it to in, in Dying Light and, and Far Cry, and just like the the pacing of it and everything. I think one thing that uh, PlayStation Studios have done really well over their last few showcases, beyond the games themselves being really good, I think they. They've, they're presenting them really, really well. Um, yeah, I agree with everything uh, Joe said. That vertical slice gave me pretty much three out of the four things I was really hoping to see. Uh, better tra traversal, you know, climbing and so on. I will say, though, you know, it's not going full like Breath of the Wild or anything like that, right? Even that hang glider... It, there's it, it you know it rocks a little bit it's slow it's not you know you're not gliding across you're not going to be able to glide across the whole map with that thing you know um and even like the, the grappling hook it looks like there are specific areas where you could use it so it still feels pretty grounded they're not going to make this they're not going to turn this into like a spider-man clone or anything like that yeah um 
but yeah, it looks it looks incredible. I will say, you know, we always talk about competition breeds excellence amongst, you know, when we talk about Xbox versus PlayStation. I think that's happening here with the PlayStation Studios. Yeah, I'm a fanboy here a little bit, but I feel like they see what Naughty Dog is doing. They they see what you know Sony Santa Monica is doing, and you know I don't think any of those any of the top four or five studios want to be considered you know a a second tier after. Of Naughty course, Dog man, they're all, they're all they're all going to outdo each other. Absolutely, yep. They're, yep. All, they're all trying to. Well, oh, I mean, yeah. James Stevenson, the the community manager at uh, Insomniac, Insomniac, he was like, "Okay, well, you know, uh, uh, Horizon's coming for a crown for best looking game right now." So yeah. there's that friendly competition, and man, this looks looks incredible. Like the sand right here that's being deformed by the lasers and everything. So it presented really well. It looks really fun. Um, I'm I'm so excited for this guy. Yeah. And I'll fanboy for a second here as well. The the culture that they've built. Um, it has taken decades uh, and you're finally seeing it come to form. Uh, you know, you've seen it the past few years, but like this is PlayStation knows they're building a Nintendo like effect with gamers that their IPs are becoming so powerful that people stop their games own a moment. And, you know, that is, that is something when you see, when you see this game in theory, you're like, so we hunt robot dinosaurs. It sounds so stupid, but just to then he see this game, and 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 from that from that point on, own the weekend of like, you know, just everybody talking about it. That's something, man. Like it's it it, it really goes to show that I I and I really do like the internal uh, competition that seems like from the outside, mm -hmm. pretty healthy in the fact of like. They, they have a sense that they're rooting for each other, but they're also being challenged by each other. And I always think about that in the podcast space where I got a few podcasters like you guys that I constantly root for and, and, and get in, inspired by. Right. And like my good friend, Sean is a, is another prime example of like, I, when I see him do something awesome and cool, I'm like, this is great. And then a part of me going, I, I could do that too. You know, and so to see that with their, with their brand and with their internal studios is pretty freaking cool to see, man. It's it takes home. it to that next level, it transcends yeah. what it is. Yeah. I feel oh you, yeah. Joe. I feel you. Yeah, yeah, man. Absolutely. Makes me so, feel nice. Oh yeah, dude. So that's uh, that's awesome. You know, I mean, uh, this is what we want to see from both. This is uh, the type mm -hmm. of shit. This is this is what reinforces our purchases. You know, things like this. You know, like that, hey, you spent 500 on our machine or 400 or whatever it is. Like, okay, this is the type of shit that we want. So, and I'm glad at least like this is slowly starting to come to fruition at least. And it's getting delivered uh, in bits and pieces. So, yeah, man, this is great. Um, and then the, you know what? So last thing I wanted to move on to was Far Cry 6. But uh, before I uh, do that, uh, again, there was a code for bio mutant xbox uh digital version that i wanted to uh that we were going to give out this was generously donated by fork uh from uh, gbtb and um we have like this thing where we kind of like put together everybody uh from the you know the, the, the everyone who was with us in the chat and whatnot and uh the winner of the game is buck roger so way to go buck way to go buck you were the one that was selected, man. I hope you have an Xbox, bro. <laughs> but yeah, you uh, the bio mutant code is yours. I'll be uh, if you want, just uh, give uh, or I don't know if you follow us or uh, or I follow you, but I want to. I don't know how I'm going to give you the code. You can follow me on uh, on uh, Twitter uh, at uh, Doctor Under. Wait, is that mine? Yeah, Doctor Underscore Mo. Just look for Mokama M O E Q A W A M A. And then I will definitely hand you the uh, I'll I'll DM you the code after that. So congrats to you, man, and thanks to Fork as well for uh, for uh, giving us that code to give out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, last topic, guys. Joel, my fucking yeah. man, you've been marathoning today, bro. I yeah. know you're trying to. Man, you are a you're a true sport, man. You're a soldier, dude. I swear to God. Um, I'm good. Fork. I'm happy. I'm happy to be here, man. You know? <laughs> fucking Diego, man. Diego's like rigged. Yes, yeah. it's all rigged, baby. Rigged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> oh shit. Um, let's see. So, the Far Cry Six. 
uh, I'll, I'll start it by saying that um, Far Cry kind of lost me after Far Cry 3. Uh, mm. I loved Far Cry 3. Uh, Far Cry 4 was, I felt like it was, obviously it's a different setting, but it was more of the same, you know, not too much. And I think uh, they tried to, they, they just couldn't improve that. Le they couldn't improve with the villain, at least like when compared to Voss, you know. Uh, Far Cry 5, I didn't play it. Uh, not because of political or anything. I just didn't care to play it. You know, like, I mean, I yeah. think uh, I think when Far Cry 5 came out, like, uh, that was, like, when I really got into that whole fuck Ubisoft and their open world formula crap, you know? Like, I mean, I just kind of got sick of it by that point. I'm like, nah, uh, I'm, I'm good. So this looks like it's going to also follow that, follow suit, okay? Looks gorgeous. Looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, I love the new, uh, I love the new protagonist. Um, I don't know if you can do male or female, but I'm glad if it's only yeah. female, that's, I think that's fucking awesome. Yeah. Regardless. Um, uh, no, you can. Okay. So, all right. And then there's, uh, obviously, yeah, there's, come on, man. There's fucking my man from uh, the, the, you know, Gustav <laughs> Fring, you know, that's right. That's <laughs> so, right. I hope, I hope. so anyway, game looks fantastic. Obviously it's going to be open world. And really to me, it's just spitting out more of the same, um, as five and, um, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to end up getting it just to try it out, you know, just to see. Sometimes there's always that thing with Ubisoft games that even though I know what to expect, I still get them just to see if anything might surprise me. And I usually doesn't after a couple hours and I end up realizing it's the same shit. So I put it back on the shelf and I move on, right? Like that, that's, that's how every Ubisoft game has been for me. But anyway, yeah, if you're into that shit, that's, that's amazing. I really, really... You know, I mean, I, I really give you a lot of props for that. But um, anyway, yeah, just from what I'm seeing, you know, at least like from what they showed us you know, with, with the acting and with the characters and with what you're up in the setting and whatnot, looks good. Looks good enough, at least for me to warrant a playthrough. Joe, what do you think uh, about this? Dude, I'm kind of right there with you. So, like, I enjoyed three. Uh, I never got to beat three. I don't like yeah. the, the, tw the twist of three. Mm -hmm. um, but. You know, four was also one that I got into. I was like, oh, I don't, I don't dig the Himalayas. Uh -huh. uh, uh, Far Cry Five was the one that I've actually, I actually dug Primal, though I didn't be, beat that one too. So there's a theme here with Far uh -huh. Cry. It overstays its welcome, maybe. Uh -huh. But that said, I beat Far Cry Five, and that was actually the weakest one to me. <laughs> um, there was just so many themes it tried to play with, but it wasn't brave enough to tackle head on. And so, like, and, and the end was just. It was literally, it was literally, we couldn't think of an ending, so we copied a very famous movie from the 1950s. And it's just like, that's not, they, it's just, they copied Dr. Strangelove. That's the movie I was thinking. Mm -hmm. That's all. And I, I hated it. I hated that game. Uh, that being said, it looks like they took their time with six. Because my goodness gracious, I love this, uh, the, the island of Yara. It practically being Cuba. Um, and just having these weapons that you're literally making from like motorcycle engines and like the <laughs> Macarena disc gun. Yeah, that shit was so <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you hear the song, and then you just shoot it in the head and you reload it, and it's <laughs> yeah. so, some dude, dude, dude. right yeah, where it left so off. Cool. This is hilarious. <gasps> awesome. awesome, dude. So, like, this, 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 game, and also you got a pet alligator, and then there's a little. Dash Hound, which we call him Chorizo because that's what white people think would be creative. And, you know, it, I don't care because, like, I should be a little bit upset because Frank thought Chorizo would be a great name for a Spanish pup, but I don't care because Chorizo's cute and he is, he's like a little sausage. He's cute. Uh, I'm all in. I'm all in on this game. The one thing that I think we're all the biggest takeaway everybody's taking is the main protagonist actually has a voice over. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually has voice actress behind there. And honestly, that that's awesome because the one thing that Far Cry was missing was like a protagonist we really gave a shit about. We could always pretend we're the we're the person in the shoes, and it looks like it's kind of Bioware esque of like you're kind of choosing mm -hmm. where you want to go with these dialogue options. Mm -hmm. So this is really cool. I'm all on board. Um, yeah, awesome. I'm in. Game looks oh sick. yeah, baby. Oh yeah. yeah. So um, Dash, where are you at with this man? Did this do anything for you? 
A little bit. Uh, I, you know, I don't have a ton of experience, <laughs> I don't have a ton of experience with Far Cry. Um, yeah. This, I mean, this particular presentation was really good. There are a lot of things that did excite me about it, like the, the backpack thing was really cool. Like how you can either can either be a flamethrower or, you know, jetpack or you know, missile launcher. Like that kind of stuff's really cool to me. The the guns look kind of cool and creative. Like how bad of a way to go by the way is like i i died you know you're at the, you're in the pearly gates of heaven i died by the macarena disc um what a <laughs> terrible freaking way like i got go. the socks stuck in my head i don't know why <laughs> literally stuck in my fucking head <laughs> <laughs> that's the last thing you hear before you die that's the worst um but yeah i just haven't ever really finished a far cry game man i i, yeah. I uh bought four when it came out i played through a little bit of it and gave up on it so I think before I go out and get like really excited about this and buy this, um, I'm going to like commit to one of them, either like four, I'm just hearing five was not as good. So maybe not five. Um, cause I got that as well. So probably going to like go after four again, um, and see if I could beat that before getting excited about this. This is so fucking big. God, these fucking maps are huge. Yeah, <laughs> man. I'm not saying that in a good way either. At least for me, this is all subjective. I just fucking hate how for, big these maps forget are. Forget an man. easy difficulty. Give me a short difficulty. Give me a ten-hour version. Oh, of this yeah. It's like we've segmented off the game, so depending on your time, the ending will come quicker, or like we took away some of the island or something yeah. like that. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this game, Mo. To be honest, I played five. I really enjoyed it. I played Primal. Okay. Didn't enjoy that much. Okay. Five is a two-player co-op you could play the whole story in co-op i had a really good time and that's how i played it i played like good chunks of it solo and then i played good chunks of it with my buddy and we kind of like okay. it together uh some of me though is kind of like with the backpack thing they are doing that ubisoft um assassin's creed odyssey thing where they kind of gave you special powers that's what mm -hmm. the backpack mm -hmm. thing tells me it's like oh now i can just launch rockets anytime i want to like okay that's cool like I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm not saying it's like a badass thing either, but it's just like, I see what like Ubisoft is still injected. You still see it in the trailer. You still, but I'll tell you what, man, these like NPC animations and their facial structures and like the way they little got those micro emotions, like that shit is mm -hmm. lovely, man. Uh, I, I agree with Joe, the weapons and all that stuff. I really liked it. I, I like, I really had a good time watching the trailer and the music with run, run the jewels. You know, it's like picture this. Oh, yeah. I'm a bag of dicks. And I'm just like, yo, let's kill some <laughs> shit, dog. You like, put RPG like in this. a trailer and it's an automatic eight out of ten. <laughs> yeah, like I just like the uh, like as a game, it's one thing, and the technical things about the game is one thing. But the vibe the game gives off, that was why I liked Five. It was just this country bumpkin type of shit. Like you're just like slaughtering like redneck dudes. Like, oh hey, you know, <laughs> smoke my weed and be under control, man, <laughs> or whatever. Like, whatever. I liked it. I really liked it. <laughs> and I am just expecting Six to be just as fun. But I hope I don't see any of that like, oh, this is still Far Cry 5. It's just like peppered up sure. a little bit. Like I sure. kind of want that experience where it's like different vehicles, different types of vehicles, flying vehicles, water vehicles, like almost that Just Cause type of feel because I really like that game or whatever. But Far Cry, like will I be getting it? I can't say like, oh, it's a for sure thing. All I know is that I'm liking what what the vibe gives me and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm interested to see it and I, and I wouldn't be – Far from the truth is saying that like it might be a day one purchase, but uh -huh. but it just makes me feel good. And it's That's like all those that matters, three, man. Yeah, dude. And those three hitter games, Horizon, Far Cry, and Dying Light. I was just like, right now, dude. Those are the like. I guess you know me and indie games. I don't really care for indie games that much. I'll give them a shot. But it's mm -hmm. like these are the AAA meat and potato baby that I want to mm -hmm. eat, son. I want to mm -hmm. eat this, and I want to feel good. And that's why I was, you know, excited for this whole just to talk about these thi like these three games particularly. We probably should have started out with these. Yeah, we really should. Have, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's okay though. That's yeah. okay. Maybe we could do like a whole other episode where we just yeah. talk about those three games with Jordan and Kevin to get yeah. them back in here. But uh, yeah, man, I'm super excited. Like, good week this week, bro. Good week this yeah. week. It was fucking yeah. awesome, man. Oh, yeah. It was a fantastic uh, pre-E3. Hopefully, we'll get another banging fucking week exactly. this week. Exactly. Bangers, sorry. Joe. Sorry. Bangers, baby. Sorry. I'm sorry. Bangers. I had to, bro. I, I had know, to. I know. I know. I know. with us. I know. Joe's like, I um, don't approve. I don't approve, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> that was uh that was the last uh that was actually the last uh, of the topics uh oh. so yeah guys uh dash joe thank you guys for yeah. coming with us and for of course yes uh, for sticking, I love you guys. sticking over I the two hour guys. sticking over the two hour mark especially you joe with that marathon session you had earlier appreciate Fine. you brother thank you guys uh, appreciate you as well thank you guys ever- Everyone in the chat, guys, thank you for being with us. And uh, Buck Roger, congratulations. Yeah, reach again. out to Buck, guys, if you see him on the online. Yeah, hey, uh, Buck, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know if you're in here or not. But uh, if, yeah, just DM me or on Twitter or email us or all of our info is there. Um, and then well, last thing, uh, actually two more things. One, again, if I didn't thank everybody, thank you guys for joining us again. I know it's Sunday families memorial day and all this uh, and memorial day weekend and whatnot uh it's a good time to reflect um uh, my brother here mike is uh a uh for a, a marine okay so i always thank him for his services damn and, you know, get me fucked up here my son thank fucking you man. brother man <laughs> i appreciate you man you know so i had to at least mention it and to anybody who has any family or uh you know and if you have lost anyone um um uh, i'm uh you know uh, thank you for, i thank you for for me and i think i speak for everybody else for their service as well you know and i hope uh mm-hmm. you know i hope that they're uh, remembered all in a positive way and uh yeah so there was that and then again to joe and uh to dash and uh, joe brother go ahead yeah. and tell everybody where can they find you <laughs> oh they can find me over at the trophy room a playstation podcast made by the players for the players where me and my best friend kyle talk about the latest and greatest in, uh, in playstation each and every thursday you can find the video version of the trophy room over on youtube or you can find us over on apple Podcasts. where right now we're doing a five-star review contest you rate the start you rate the show five stars over on apple Podcasts, and you get a chance to win ratchet and clank a rift apart and you can find us over on spotify google play wherever you find your podcast services you can find the show there you can find me over at mr Badbit. you can find the show over at ps trophy room all one word on twitter and now there you go and, and thank you for having me seriously I could talk about games literally all day. I think today it proves that. I could do well, dude, the, you've been on like ten shows this week, so I think it's pretty fun. I, 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 I think you're definitely living up to. You know, I mean, no lies detected there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Joe, I was last telling- week was like the ten shows. This week, I think it was it was fewer, but way more. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the yeah. show you did earlier today is worth about two, two and a half, maybe two three. and a half. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's yeah. just call it that. Yeah. So I, I, I think you know that's uh, that's what that that, that that about equalizes it. Uh, Dash, where can they find you, brother? I have Twitter. You can find me on Twitter <laughs> at, <laughs> at. You can find Dash him and his revolver. Dash Revolver. You can follow Dash Revolver and all of his fucking amazing takes. And he always gets retweeted by so many people, man. I know you got retweeted by Barlog. House Mark retweeted you twice. You've been on a fucking roll, man. I House love Mark's your, uh, creative director. Uh, yeah. I got mm. Jeff Grubb to retweet me. Damn, so, you know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those, you those memes. Those memes. <laughs> those memes are paying the bills. Yeah, he, is, <laughs> he, is, he is the meme master. So definitely check Excellent. Him out. And Excellent. then yeah, man. Uh, for enough uh, for me and for Mike, uh, and Jordan and uh, Jordan and Kevin will be back next week uh, to uh, resume the round table. But for me and Mike and guys, uh, thank you again for being with us and for joining us today. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Hope you guys have a fantastic week coming up, and hopefully we'll catch you guys next weekend. So have a good one. Take care. Peace. Thank you Thanks, guys. Y'all.